Views expressed by Casters Guild members are only the opinions of that member, and that could change from day to day. Guild members may use mature language, but that in no way means they are mature. Listener discretion is advised. Is there something strange in your neighborhood, forest, or arctic tundra? Don't call the Ghostbusters. Call your local cryptozoologist. And that's the spell we're casting tonight on Casters Guild. Thanks for tuning in to Caster's Guild. I'm Rick Perry, your guild master, and my existence is yet to be substantiated. And I am your guild master, Baron Kane, and I am definitely can only be filmed in blurry photographs. And this is our I'm guild Lilith. member. <laughs> I'm Lilith. Our guild I member, Lilith. I don't have anything special. Oh, that's not true. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for coming on, Lilith. Yay. So tonight we're talking cryptids. I'm going to be honest. I did not know what the difference between a cryptid slash mythological creature slash whatever was um, until today. I had knew what kind of like what a cryptid was, but like I didn't know like the official difference. So I looked it up and cryptozoologists just define a cryptid as an animal whose existence is yet to be substantiated. Right. Or to go into a little bit a little bit further, Merriam Webster's defines a cryptid as an animal that has been claimed to exist but never proven to exist. Contrary to popular belief, cryptids don't have to be supernatural, mythical, or even all that strange, though many popular creatures acquire these characteristics as their legends grow. So God can be classified as a cryptid. Wow, that's a whole other episode. <laughs> it really <laughs> is. This is a whole other episode. <laughs> but, like, for example, uh, I can't even pronounce the name of the fish. There was a fish that everybody thought was extinct. Platypus? That's not a fish. <laughs> but everybody thought it was, it was extinct, but people kept saying that they saw it, but could never claim that it, would, that it existed. Mm-hmm. And then they finally claimed that it existed. So it's no longer a cryptid. It was a cryptid, no longer a cryptid. Yeah. Like the platypus. The platypus is not a cryptid. Well, the, cra- the platypus, platypus was a cryptid. It was a cryptid. It was. Yeah. As a matter was. of fact, uh, in, ni- in 1798, British scientists thought that the platypus was actually a hoax. And when corpses were brought to them, they thought they were sewn together, not unlike the Fiji mermaid, until finally, you know. That dream away from me. What's that? Don't you take that dream away from me. I'm just saying. And fun fact, they're also one of the only mammals that lay eggs and one of the only venomous mammals. Oh, what's the other mammal that lays an egg? Well, I forgot. There are five of them, actually. And <clears throat> I one. meant one of the other four. <laughs> well, I still forgot. He's got three heads on his penis. It's an echidna! <laughs> no. <laughs> I don't know why I went for that that thing first. <laughs> Who knows? What are the other ones? I and you know what is my, I know I brought up the fact that there are five, but I do not know what the other ones are. Huh. When researching the platypus, <laughs> I just know one of the facts given. It was one of five. I'm going with elephants. Elephants don't legs. Wow, I'm off to a bad start. <laughs> Prove him wrong. Elephants do live birth. Okay, ostriches then. I don't know. I don't think those are mammals. Fuck. I'm not good at this. No, you're not. <laughs> Bigfoot? He, I don't think he even gives birth. Huh. I think he's a man. <laughs> huh. All right, then. I don't even think Bigfoot I can think lay I'm, eggs. I'm, I don't think I'm qualified for this episode. <laughs> 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 Nothing oh, about animal childbirth. Well, that's true. You know nothing. I know nothing about childbirth in general. I don't even know how you're... <laughs> so since this is the cryptid episode, what is your favorite cryptid? Ah, frick, what's his name? The Nessie bootleg. Champy? Yeah. Nice, nice. That's a good one. I had never heard of Champy. What, what, what is this? All I can say is that he's the Nessie bootleg. I <laughs> forgot where he's from. He is. <laughs> he is a water monster uh, in Lake Champlain. I believe, 
I believe it's Canadian. Okay. A lot of the same features as as Nessie. Yeah. So it's Nessie. He just says a boot instead of about. <laughs> yes. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Sure. I, I think my favorite cryptid. Whew. My favorite cryptid. You know, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go with. I'm gonna go with like. We're gonna go with a like a mythological kind of being type, and I'm gonna go with Mothman. Mm-hmm. But then I'm also gonna go with Thiaseline. I may be pronouncing that wrong. By what? The Tasmanian tiger. Don't use the scientific name for That's it. That's not the t- scientific name. You That's the name. Brain, you big brain. I don't off have. Looking. Wow. Wow. <laughs> Remember, I have the power to ground you. <laughs> Do it. I dare you. Ooh, I'm going to hide Snap. all of your controllers. <laughs> I only have one that works. You won't. <laughs> you won't. <laughs> you won't do it. <laughs> I'm going to say my favorite will be the Jersey Devil. Ooh, that's a good one. Yeah, and mostly just because it's the one I think I might know the most most about. And uh, there was a video game about the Jersey Devil um, a long time ago, and I thought it was neat. And so yeah, I'm gonna go with the Jersey Devil. The story of him has been around for quite a long time as well. Oh yeah. I love the old pictures of him with the, with the horse head and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. That was great. I also have another, but I don't think he classifies as a cryptid. Okay. Goat man. Yeah, he counts. Okay. Yeah. He's a man that is a goat. That's all I can really say. <laughs> Do your own research. I'm looking it up. Um, uh-huh. Apparently, in the state of Tennessee, uh... your cryptid is apparently a black panther. What? Like, so as Tala a... is running around your woods <laughs> as we speak. So it's just it's just a Black Panther. Like it's mm-hmm. is it does it even qualify as a cryptid? I mean, Black Panther yeah, is an animal. Well, like it's it is an animal, but it is not native to your your state. Uh, nor okay, it's native yeah, to right. our. So yeah, so yeah, that definitely counts as as a cryptid. Um, but also they're talking about uh the wampus cat. Does that mean giraffes count as which is in America? More of a oh, like if you saw wild, if you claimed you saw wild giraffes in America somewhere, <laughs> that and it was not one confirmed was there, then yes, it, the American giraffe would be a cryptid. The if, if it was if yeah, like if it wasn't confirmed that just like escaped from a zoo or something like that, like it wasn't confirmed that somebody just brought it over, then yeah, like if if it just like appeared one day. And yeah, that'd be a cryptid. Like it, ju- it just fell out of out of a tree. Like, mm-hmm. mom, help me! No. <laughs> what do you have in Ohio? Uh, we have frogman. I don't think that's from Ohio. Lake- Lakeland. <laughs> yeah, I think it is. I think the frogmen are in Ohio. The closest thing we have to a cryptid in Ohio is Bigfoot, and that's. Uh, we did have a story. Not... We did have a story around here about Bigfoot. We've had. We we have now had three confirmed stories of cryptids in Ohio. Oh yeah, the uh, werewolf thingy. Loveland Frogman, yep, see? Told you. <laughs> Loveland, Ohio. That's our most famous one. Yeah. Um, okay. Oh, Grassman is Ohio too? <laughs> Grassman. Mothman, kinda. And, and, I, and I'll say this, because Mothman is a Point Pleasant thing. I'm not going to take that from Point Pleasant. Yeah. However, but there was that bridge in Ohio that he was said to show up right before that bridge. Which collapsed, is the right? bridge to Point Pleasant. Right. Yeah, so so it was like right there on the Ohio River. So yeah. really, if anybody could claim Mothman, it's the Ohio River. But no. there are people There are people in Ohio that claim to have saw Mothman as well. Hold on, hold on. Right. Yeah. Who, which county is the place with most Mothman sightings? The place with most Mothman it would, sightings? It would, be, it would be Point Pleasant. Okay, so it... Yeah. Point Pleasant owns him. Yeah, well, no, I, I wasn't taking that away from them. I know, it's, it's totally, it's totally theirs. It's totally there. <laughs> Grass man. Um, but we also have, ooh, the dog man. See, I told you, we also have the dog man. It's just a dog that's a, ooh. that's a dude. That's, it's a dog that's a dude. Why are you, why are it's you like, just. It's like a wolf man kind of thing. <laughs> he, he came out of the womb you're that like, way, you're okay? Like shitting on all these <laughs> fucking wolf cryptids. I, I don't know am. what they ever did to you. They did but nothing. There is in my hometown. There was a report of a werewolf creature type thing that was looking in people's windows. Yeah, but it wasn't really. <laughs> yeah, I'm telling. You. Well, no, that was what they. Oh my god! 
Did you look up the story? No, I did not. Exactly. <laughs> that is creepy. Yeah. It, it was just looking in the windows. That is a crime. Mm -hmm. That is a crime. That is a crime. That is a crime. Yeah. He, it's also very scary. I, there was actually a time in my childhood where, like, for three months straight, there was knocking on me and my siblings' windows in the oh, middle of the that. night. And my, my parents didn't know where it was coming from. Like, they were trying to figure it out. Like, police were called. There was a time when, like, you know, my dad's friend was, like, creeping around the backyard at night with a crossbow waiting to catch somebody knocking on our window. Like, we still don't know to this day what was knocking on our window. No. Um, that, that's a straight phobia of mine. Yeah. Like, it, no, it definitely gave me a bit of a complex for a while. Like, it took me a long time to, to get over it. But I just wouldn't go to sleep. I'd, I'd hold a gun up to the window. Yeah, I didn't go my to sleep gun. for a while. <laughs> at least not in my bedroom. Like, mm. um, we also we also have another story of a cryptid in our hometown. Let's see. You want to talk about it? Yeah. Go ahead. <laughs> okay. Fat boy that turned fit boy because ground got done did uh, filled in. You realize that most of the people talk, listening to us right now don't know what the hell you're talking about. Yes. I. That's why. That's why I'm trying to make it as complicated as possible. I know exactly what him. you're talking about, yeah. and I barely know what you're talking about. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so Chauncey. He is werewolf that was fat once. <laughs> Why was he fat? Because uh, he like preyed upon people that was driving in like the bumpy, uh, misshapen road, the mistake road, as I like to call it. So we and, have a we have a little alley that's yeah. right beside the tracks that has a bunch of potholes in it. So the story came up that there's a werewolf named Chauncey that will come out and just walk beside the car because you can't drive very fast on the, that road because there's so mm -hmm. many potholes. So he would just walk up beside the car, rip somebody out, and just, like, <laughs> eat them. Just Which is why he's fat, because he doesn't have to work very hard yeah. to get them. But now he turned fit. <laughs> but they, they, but they fixed in. the road. They fixed yeah. the road, so now he's he's had to get fit. Mm. Go ahead. Thanks, it has to run you now. Have, you have to say it. Guild Getting Decree. Guild Decree what? Guild Decree, Chauncey's Cannon. I don't know. I don't know what yeah. to say. She, okay, you're new to the guild decrees. Yeah, she's yeah. saying that unofficial Chauncey has been London's unofficial cryptid, but she's using her guild decree to make him official. I official need Official cryptid. Official cryptid. Guild decree. Right. I just stamped it. I had to stamp it. I like his wife. <laughs> oh, yeah, his wife. Oh, yeah, his wife is a cryptid, too, apparently. Yeah. Oh, yeah? She, she, she's just like a... Uh, a lady that stays in the apartments above there. Apparently, she's from New Jersey or something like that. Yeah. She yells at him, calling him a lazy ass. <laughs> no, I'd like him to be from. I'd like her to be from like New York or Scotland. I don't know why. Ooh, Scotland would be fucking great. Like, you don't she, you understand what she's saying the whole time. Yeah, like I feel threatened. <laughs> <laughs> like I feel hurt. <laughs> Wait, is Chauncey in there? In his wife, just a bundle. Like, if we make him canon, does the wife become canon? Or does sure, just... yeah, that's a bundle of the Chauncey yeah. family. Bundle deal. Like, if it's part of Chauncey's story, then if Chauncey is the official, then so is everything that's part of Chauncey's story. Yep. No children. We're not going that far. We are not making Chauncey children. <laughs> At least not yet. No. None. So, uh, what cryptid would you least like to run into? Oh. Like, if you were to ever run into a cryptid, Man, I'm yes. telling you, probably none of them. Yes. I, like, honestly, I mean, they're not, I mean, fuck, they're all scary. I you know what? No, I'll take that back. There are there are certain animals, like, you know, people are trying to say that carrier pigeons still, like, they still see them. So they're mm -hmm. crazy. Yeah. So I'd be fine with running across a carrier, a carrier pigeon. pigeon. Like, yeah. But I'm not going to. I'm I'm not gonna get fucking blasted in the face by Bigfoot next time I go to the Pacific Northwest. It's not something I like. It's not something I'm into. I mean, some people are into that. Some people are into that. I'm not kink shaming here. Yeah, I like to run into Floofy Mothman. Mothman. Floofy Mothman. Yeah. Like if we were to, if we're describing which kind of Mothman we're we're seeing. Yeah. Like, like are we talking I'd, like? I'd like to run into Fan Art Mothman. Fan Art Mothman. More than real. Mothman. Oh yeah. I mean, Real Mothman is well, just skin flaps. How about what some I, fan art Mothman? Yeah. Because yeah, some fan art is. Ooh, yeah. Uh, for what I understand about Mothman, though, is Mothman is not actually like evil or doesn't actually do anything to you. Yeah, he's like he just it kind of warns you that things are coming. Like it's yeah. like a sign, an omen. 
Yeah. So, like, if you ran into Mothman, you could at least know to be looking out. Yeah, he yeah. he's ju he just stands there menacingly. But let's just face it, though, if he shows up, something bad is happening. So I still don't want to see him. Yeah, you should, <laughs> you should still go mm, when you see him. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna hear like this gentle flap of wings, and I'm gonna look over. He's gonna be there, and he's gonna be like, "Sorry, bro." <laughs> Could you at least give me some hints? Like, like right. what I'm <laughs> he's like your unfairly godmother. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> He's like your unfairly godfather. I don't even know his gender. We just labeled um, him as Mothman. He is Mothman, so he is Moth I guess Bro. We have gendered him as man for now. <laughs> he is Moth Bro. I think I wouldn't like to run into a chupacabra. Oh, uh, well, will do nothing to you're you. You're not a goat. Yeah, yes, still. Ava. I feel like if I, if I, like, okay, so like, I'm not the prey no. of a mountain lion. But if I ran into a mountain lion, lion, I'd probably have a bad time. You would. So I imagine they'd be the same with a chupacabra. Yeah. He's small. You can kick him. Is you can right? shoot him. You can stab him. You can do anything. Don't bite him. I can though. do that to any of the cryptids. Then. Yeah. I don't want to. Unless they're fast and can fly. So. Are are you are you insinuating that a twelve gauge shotgun is a cryptid solver? Yes. Ooh. Yes. Any weapon. But what if it's the last one of his kind? I don't care. Damn. If he attacks me, he's dead. Extinction. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, I, I did a little bit of research before this, not a ton. And I found a few animals that were that were cryptids until yeah. they weren't. Like the platypus. The platypus was, was one of the ones I found. Oh, there's some funny ones on this list, too. Oh. I, I've seen the list. Oh. But go ahead. So there is the, uh, the beaked whale. Oh, yeah. The beaked whale, uh, which was once known as the water owl or uh, Xiphus. Why uh, Xiphus? Well, Xiphus means sword-like in Latin. Oh, that's Got a cool it. name, Dad. And the water owl was, was, like, the name was supposedly re to refer to the water owl's fins, which was said to slice through the hulls of ships. Holy crap. Yeah. Until they finally found the beaked whale, named it the beaked whale, and that's what it is now. It's no longer a cryptid because they found it. This is why I'm scared of whales. They're big and they can destroy your ship. There's also the, uh, the, oh geez, I'm going to pronounce a lot of these wrong. The Jinzo, um, which was also known as the Mand of the Forest or a Bondashu in Indonesia. Oh. The Dijinzo was a photograph was sent to an Australian scientist who thought it was a tree oh, yeah. kangaroo. Um, until 14, 14 years later, that same scientist took an expedition to Indonesia and actually found the Dijinzo and classified it as its own new animal. And it's a mammal. It's got black and white fur. Um, like looks kind of weird. Sometimes it stands up on it on two legs. Sometimes it's bipedal. Other times it just climbs around on all fours through the trees. So and you said it's called, it's, it's called the old man of the forest. The just, what? just man of the forest. Oh, man of the forest. Because I'm mm -hmm. pretty sure that isn't that what orangutan means. Yeah. So orangutan was another another one that was confused with the man of the forest. It's kind of I'm gonna go oh, through, like a uh, like the next one is actually like the orangutan. the sea serpent, which a lot of animals were confused with sea serpents, but like the one the example I brought is the oarfish, which the oarfish. I just caught one of those. Yeah, you did. An Animal Crossing. Yeah, they actually exist. They're not just an Animal Crossing. Um, I don't believe you. They can, confirmed, they can get up to as long as 36 feet. Oh, lies. Unconfirmed, they've been reported for up to 56 feet long and up to 600 pounds. So That's a lot of fish. You could definitely confuse that with a sea serpent that wants to crush your, crush your boat, you know? And like a lot of other animals that were water cryptids or sea cryptids, they're just really, they usually live really deep, which is why nobody really sees them very much. This um, is why I hate the sea. <laughs> but yeah, so just like that animal, there's is is one of many that was confused with the sea serpent. Um, the Jijinzo was one of a few that was confused with the man of the forest. I have another sea cryptid. It's not really a cryptid. It's more like a yokai. It is a yokai. But, yo so, but yokai are kind of like cryptids. So, yeah, we're kind of getting into the mythological creatures now. Yeah. yeah. Um, um, I forgot what they were called, but they were like these like giant frog-like men. They were like giant, 
and they were like uh like drowned priests and monks so they have like i think i know what you're talking about um yeah they like destroy ships unless you give them barrels i don't know why they like barrels i just I, they they repurpose them into chairs and uh, and they sell them out of um a crazy barrel <laughs> why would they sell them money <laughs> why do they need money is there like a black market in the sea like a hey, yeah, they call it some fish guts. They call it the blue market. <laughs> the, the also, market. also known as the wet market. Yes. <laughs> oh. And then you can get really illicit stuff in the deep wet market. <laughs> Ew. <laughs> Why did we go into this territory? So, uh, there's also the the mountain gorilla, which were in East Africa, which were known as man apes. That's just what Bigfoot is. And, and orangutans. The well, the thing about the the mountain gorilla, it was it was proven to exist um, when in it, because it was just myths and legends told by both natives and visitors until in 1902, one was shot by a German officer, Ooh. and then the uh, the corpse was returned to Europe uh, for classification, and then you know it was proven to exist. I mean, at least you didn't put in a. In a it in a museum in which the museum we're like oh my god it's the cricket <laughs> then of course there's the uh komodo dragon which there was legends of you know dragons uh and then in 1910 a dutch explorer killed a specimen but later on in 1926 an american explorer wanted his own proof of this creature so he set out on an expedition to capture two of them. This mission was successful, and he captured two Komodo dragons. Those two Komodo dragons were then gifted to the Bronx Zoo for study. And that's how we got our first uh, Komodo dragons in captivity. And Komodo dragons are rough. Oh, oh yeah. No. We just found another cryptid. Richard, no. Richard. <laughs> What did I do no. or not do? <laughs> no. Oh, God. Yeah, that's... <laughs> and for the listeners at home who can't see our cameras, um, they just found one of my pictures when I was graduating high school. And apparently, oh, no. <laughs> that's a cryptid. Naked oh. face and everything. <laughs> oh, no. Not completely naked face, I don't think. Oh, yeah, I, think I, had, I, had, I had what they call a rock bottom. It was a little... Soul patch strip that went all the way down to the bottom of my chin. You had at least some clothing. Wait, what? <laughs> oh, you mean for his face? I yeah. was like, face I was like, I'm trying to like run that through my mind. Like, what the fuck is that supposed to mean? <laughs> no. <laughs> wow, we broke her. I broke. Where her. did that come from? <laughs> like, Weird, right? <laughs> Richard. Like, why are you on like my Facebook or wherever it is? <laughs> I'm uh, actually. You can thank you can thank Nikki Danvers for that one. Okay, yeah, all right. Well, she shared it, and since it tagged you, it popped up on my feed that she, she you have been tagged in a, in a picture. Oh no! What should we call that cryptid? <laughs> what is that even back, called? Back then, it was called Toad. That's true. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's all a right. Toad. All That's right. All it is. So yeah, Komodo uh, dragons are fucked up individuals. Oh and yeah. For the longest I mean, time, they were considered to be poisonous, but then they found out they weren't poisonous. They it's just their spit was so dirty that it would give you infections after it bit you. Yep. So it is poisonous, but well, not. Well, it's poisonous, it's, but it not. Would be, oh, what would that be? It would not poisonous. It's just infections. It's, yeah, it's just infections. I mean, like you can get an infection from any kind of bite. It's just it, yeah. it's you're especially it's not treated. susceptible. Yeah. Fun fun fact: humans are pretty bad too. They are. Yeah. <laughs> So then we have uh, the Yangji Giant Softshell Turtle. That was my nickname in high school. <laughs> this was the Golden Turtle God, or Kim Kwa. See, that's why it was my nickname in high school. It was uh, in Vietnam. Um, it was known to be the keeper of the sword of Laloi, who is a Vietnamese hero who repelled the Chinese invaders. 
and then gave his sword to the turtle for safekeeping. Because that's what you do. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you defeat a country and give the weapon you single-bladedly defeated a country with to a mindless animal. Wow. Who then you don't sentience. know that. That was the turtle god. Who then, yeah, gained, no. who then gained sentience. It was never, it was <laughs> never a turtle. So, then in 1998, uh, scientists man managed to film the creature. Scientist man. In the lake that it was let, you know, believed to exist. And then later that year, they were able to capture two of them live. And then they re-released them into the lake because they could only confirm the existence of four of them. I wonder um, who started worshipping the turtle. So, of those four, in 2016, one of them died. So, as of right now, there are only three that are known to exist at all. I wonder if people are, like, worshipping those turtles, since it's, like, known to be the country and or county's hero. I mean, it was definitely held in, 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 you know, high regard. I mean, they definitely revered the turtle. I don't know if it was worshipped. I don't know a whole lot about Vietnamese culture, if I'm going to be honest. But, you know, I mean, it was definitely a story that was told generations upon generations, you know. So it was obviously important. Oh, yeah. So then we have the, uh, the Okapi. The what? The Okapi. Um, well, the Okapi was actually... If you look at it, it looks like it's part zebra, part deer, part antelope, but it's actually related to the giraffe. The giraffe. The Okapi managed to evade capture by Europeans trying to capture it to approve it to exist to the point where the Europeans were calling it the African unicorn. I thought you were going to say taxes. <laughs> was, the Okapi evaded taxes for years. Yeah. <laughs> The IRS could not pin that guy down. Uh, <laughs> but then uh, in 1901, the governor, the British governor of Uganda sent a skeleton and skin of one to the British Museum in order to classify it. And then that's when its existence was proven and verified. And since then, you can find one in, in a lot of predominant zoos. Do you think they were just having a casual conversation? You're like, oh yeah, I brought this. They were like, <laughs> <laughs> what? You casually hand I, us I, this unicorn. I cannot wait to listen to this podcast to hear how it sounds without seeing any <laughs> of her gestures or facial features yes. mm -hmm. while this is happening. <laughs> and then uh, since we already covered the platypus, the last one I have here is the giant squid. Oh, yeah. Which was known as the Kraken. This is why I hate the ocean. In the 1870s, a bunch of giant squids beached themselves on the coast of Newfoundland and Labrador. They were just tired of life, you know? They and were... up until that point, there was no evidence that they existed. So they just, so they just extincted themselves. No. No, no they definitely, they're definitely still alive. As a matter of fact, in 2004... Uh, that was the first time that they were actually be able to caught on camera while living. Oh. Um, and a bunch of Japanese scientists took 500 photos of one before it disappeared into the depths of the ocean again. So it was, you know, verified to still be a living creature. So yeah, they, they've, they've always had evidence. Yeah, mm -hmm. they just like with, didn't know how to... Yeah, like they always had like the heavy scars and on the sperm whales and everything like that. Right. Yeah, they but maybe they thought it was the doing of the Kraken. You're like, oh my god, the Kraken, the Kraken did this. <laughs> the Kraken did this. So yeah, those are some animals that were cryptids, and now they're not, because um, they've been verified to exist. Talking about the last animal, again, it, um... Giant squid? No, uh, well... The Okapi. Not, yeah, the Okapi. Uh, it got me thinking of another yokai. I don't know if yokai classify as cryptids or again, not again not really but i think it depends i mean like a lot of yokai were based on sightings of animals and sightings of things so i think those yokai might classify as okay cryptids yeah, so the okapi got me thinking about the kappa because of happy in its name mm -hmm. so kappa were just cucumber obsessed a child had a baby with a turtle that had an intense lust for blood and 
thought that there was <laughs> there was this orb that granted like wishes, I think, inside of humans gluteus maximuses. I can't verify any of this, by the way. Yeah. I, <laughs> I know I have Google, but I'd rather just let it go. Oh yeah. Yeah, I'm I'm coming into this with shaky sources. Wikipedia? No, not Wikipedia. <laughs> <laughs> In fact it was YouTube. A guy that Ooh, makes shakier. Yeah, a guy even shakier, a guy that is very distrustful with information. Wow. Mm. Wait. Like he is not to be trusted or he doesn't trust other people. Yes. Okay. <laughs> um, I, you know, and, and since it, it kind of got brought up, I'm, I'm going to go ahead and uh, talk about, like, the distinction between cryptids and stuff. Like, we kind of talked about it in terms of, the like, definition. We, we, yeah, we have, like, you know, the animals that can't be confirmed, you know, because, you know, there's just plain animals that people are like, oh, I saw a, a black cougar in Tennessee. And can't confirm it, but I know I saw it, so it's encrypted. And then, you know, you have things like Nessie and Mothman. Yep. Mothman. Um, I will say that I, I, as a person, take a hard stance on things that are part of people's active religion or culture. Sure. So, uh, like, like, a lot of people like to classify Wendigo as a cryptid. Mm -hmm. And I, mean, I do not, because they are a part of an active religious culture. Have they seen any Wendigos that they think they've seen? The, I mean, I'm sure that there are stories. Mm -hmm. it's, it's a First Nations myth. So yeah. it would be like us saying the devil is a cryptid. No. Mm -hmm. Or angels no. or... Right. Uh, it doesn't make sense. Yeah. Yeah. You take a mainstream religion and you say that, and it's like, oh, no, angels are cryptids. It was like, well, no, that doesn't make sense. Why would it? So why would you say that about anybody else's religious culture? Yeah, that Which really I'll, I'll, have to, I'll have to look into this, and, and this hard stance may even uh, coincide with my opinion on Bigfoot as well, because if he is actually part of a religious culture, too, then that might be, you know. Yeah, what about skinwalkers? Skinwalkers also, that's... Uh, that's a that's a hard stand. I don't think it's it's a southern uh, southwestern Native American people. Wait, is it part of religion? It it is part of their culture. It okay. it, it can be considered yeah. It, it's their religion. Okay. Still, so the idea of skinwalkers. Oh, is, skinwalkers are terrifying. Yeah, that that's just, what I would say. Just terrifying. Yeah, I like the idea of them. I actually named. <laughs> one of my superheroes skinwalker without knowing the correct mm -hmm. idea of what a skinwalker was mm -hmm. i was just hey this hero trip yeah, there, 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 a lot of a lot of like modern mm -hmm. culture uses the word skinwalker to describe like a shapeshifter mm -hmm. just a generic shapeshifter and but they use that word and for all i know the skinwalker is a very it seems like a very generic term, and I'm pretty sure that the Native Americans that used that word mm -hmm. didn't say the word skinwalker. It wasn't an English word that they used. So you, you can make that argument that skinwalker isn't necessarily a closed term. Yeah, it's probably lost in translation or but something. It, but if you're using it to describe the skinwalker, that yeah, it, that's, a, that's a closed term. I know, I seem to took a lot, a lot of fun out of some people's definitions <laughs> of cryptid, but... No, I mean that's fine. I mean it's a distinction that needs made. It's I just think. it's just your opinion. Probably. Yeah. yeah it's a yeah, lot of people's it, opinion. It is a lot of people's opinion, but it's, it is it's not really classified as a fact. Mm -hmm. But I'm pretty sure that if we went to those people whose cultures those are figures in, I'm pretty sure that they would have a very strong opinion about whether they should be considered cryptids or not. Yeah. So oh, if there's if cryptids, you know, are supposed to be like just animals that haven't been classified yet. I mean, I'm sure they wouldn't like something that's, that's a part of their religion to just be some animal that hasn't been discovered yet. And I'm, yeah. sh I'm sure they also don't want, you know, a TV crew coming mm -hmm. up to their homeland to, you know, scour the country for something that they consider a mythological mm -hmm. uh, a figure in their in their stories, in their yeah. lores. Speaking of which, a lot, a lot of people have said that Mothman may be an angel. I've, I've read that. Mm -hmm. 
I've read that. A humanoid figure with wings that shows up to warn of in, um, impending doom. Um, I would like to point out that if he was, he is definitely not the weirdest angel I've heard of. Oh, no, definitely not. I mean, like, re- re- if you read the the Holy Bible, there's definitely some weird descriptions <laughs> of angels in there. there. There's a reason why they came down and said, yeah. be not afraid. Most of them <laughs> they were did, ugly. Most of them did not look human. No. That's why Satan was the prettiest. I, uh, my favorite angel is the baby in the gyroscope. Oh. Yeah. yeah. I, yeah. Like, I like the flaming wheel. Oh, yeah, that's nice, too. Flaming I wheel. don't know why, but I like the angel that really has no description just because he stopped a guy from killing his son by giving him a goat. I, I don't think that's how the story went. But Me either, but, I mean... I haven't really um done proper research, I guess. I mean, like, I've read the whole thing through at least once. But Again, I, I'm coming in this with shaky you're, sources. You're, you're talking about you're talking about the guy who God told to kill his son, and then the angel came down and was like, no, no, no. Like, nah, bro, nah. You're good. Yeah. You've shown your faith. Like, I don't know there what God no told you. There was no goat. But the only angel I found that, like, fits the description that people have for angels would be the seraphim, which uh, they actually had six wings. You know, you know what's funny is the 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 beings who fit the description most of the classical angel that is known today mm-hmm. are Hellenic daemons. Yeah. So you're talking about Nike, the the goddess of victory, who stands upon Athena's uh, hand in the uh, Parthenon. Mm-hmm. That it looks just like an angel. Wait a second. Wait a second. Has any tapestries? related to God and all that, like, showed angels? No. Uh, I mean, yeah, but, like, yeah, you know, yeah. it was that artist's interpretation of angels. Yeah. But the Bible would be, like, the but, canon. But these weird depictions of angels, you ready for me to bring this back around? What? Were they really aliens? Uh, is God an alien? Cryptids. Is Jesus mm-hmm. an alien? If would so, you, would Jesus is the hottest alien I've ever seen. Huh? Would you classify aliens as cryptids? I would. I mean, they've kind of... They've I'm not going to argue that. I mean, like, by definition, I mean, they are, you know... They're not animals, animals, per se, but... I mean, like, if you're going to classify... I, mean, I would classify human as an animal. So, I mean, if you would classify human as an animal, as I would, I would think they would classify as animals Fair. as well. Animals that have been claimed to exist, but, you know, haven't been necessarily verified, unless you listen to recent press releases from the U.S. government... Um, right, you know, then you know. To be cryptids. fair, to be fair, UFOs can be anything. That's true. They can. Yeah, like for example, ready? What was that? Yeah, I don't know. UFO. Yeah, UFO. Identified flying object. Yep. That was a no. That wasn't a knife. I thought you threw your knife. Uh, you don't even know what it was now. <laughs> no. We had a UFO fly through our house. Mm-hmm. Oh my God, guys! We just had a UFO. <gasps> but the, those things in the videos were definitely definitely aliens. So. Yeah. Those are definitely aliens. <laughs> Do our aliens... Are aliens classified as angels? I mean, that's what we just talked about. Well, I mean, if like, you listen to a certain crazy-haired Greek guy, <laughs> he will not say it's aliens, but, but it's the aliens. So anyways, <laughs> aliens... Um, but that's, a, that's another thing, too, is a lot of people... There's a lot of cryptids that people think could be aliens, too. Fun <laughs> fact, one of the cryptid stories in our town is that we did have Bigfoot in our town for a little while, and he was out he just... in a field somewhere refueling UFOs. <laughs> he... oh, oh, yeah. I, w- I wish I was kidding. That's literally a story that's been going around our town. <laughs> he just, hey. he just like, stopped at a gas station. Like, but, oh, yeah, a, little, a little alien gas station out there, yeah. <laughs> Like, just another normal day. Oh, somebody saw me. When you're a Sasquatch, you got to do what you got to do, man. That's right. Yeah. Hey, Bills, you got a little mouse feed. <laughs> He's got kids. Yeah, I was actually... He's just trying to live his life, bro. I was surprised at... And not to say that it doesn't exist, because it obviously exi- exists, right? But I was surprised at the lack of cryptid representation in media. You'd think with how many stories and how interesting some of the stories are, there'd be a lot more movies tv series mm-hmm. um yeah. about these things i was looking for you know when we decided we were going to talk about cryptids on today's podcast i was looking for documentaries and stuff on cryptids 
and you know they're out there, but like I actually had to like search to find them. It had wasn't to do work. Well, that's the thing is a lot of them are on like the Sci-Fi Channel, and it's not like those are easy to get a hold of, right? Documentary wise, mm -hmm. but I mean, even you saying that, there's not even like pop culture movies or TV shows. I mean, we have the X Files. Like I, I mean, I right? That, but that's really not, that's not, that doesn't really them. count though. I mean, yeah, but, they exist, right? You know, like you've got like Supernatural. They th that there was that great big Richard Gere Mothman movie that mm -hmm. came out. Um, so I mean, like they exist, but you'd think, I mean, especially with you don't need rights to make a movie about Bigfoot. You don't need rights to make a movie about. Oh. But again, that also might be why it doesn't exist. I mean, it's not exactly if you come out with a movie about Bigfoot and it gets popular, there's nothing stopping eight other studios from making Bigfoot movies the next year. Which, so. uh, which by the way, if you haven't seen it. I recommend it to you too. I know you haven't seen it yet. Harry and the Hendersons. Oh yeah. First movie about Bigfoot and the family that takes him in the Hendersons. Oh yeah, I've seen that one. You have not. Yeah, I have. I, I remember. I remember seeing it. Did I force you to watch it? No, I saw it at the Howling Wolf. So yes. <laughs> <laughs> it's shaky. <laughs> but I know I wasn't forced. You were like, "Hey, watch this." I. Willingly watched it. I willingly, I willingly tuned in and tuned out, tuned in and tuned out. <laughs> okay. Oh. But yeah, the, no, there really isn't. I mean, <laughs> the Sci-Fi Channel has single-handedly, oh yeah, kept cryptids in our culture for years they until the, until the uh, History Channel decides that they want to dip into it every once in right. a while. Yeah, you, yeah. you get you get a little midnight. late late night action with the <laughs> history channel. And it's always weird. Like you're just like what? It well, always yeah. leaves you with this I, I like the it's like I like the the shows that kind of leave you with a little bit of mystery. I, mm -hmm. I, I hate it when the shows like force guests. It's like they bring in the guests they're like, no, this is real. Uh, I was like, you're really forcing it right now. Yeah. You get an actor to pretend to be an expert right mm -hmm. now that is just like fucking whole hog believing that Nessie is actually an alien that has piloted a spaceship but hasn't been able to leave yet. <laughs> no, I, I, I feel like Nessie is either just a robot, like from Gravity like, Falls. Like Scooby-Doo? No, from Gravity Falls, basically. Or... Yeah. or Gra Gravity Falls is the Scooby-Doo for Generation Z. Yeah. I or, think I have I've always described it as Twin Peaks for kids. Oh, <laughs> that's good. Or it's just like a remnant of dinosaur because basically, if you think about it, the description is dinosaur-like. It's like it's like close to a dinosaur. You know, what I think Nessie is what three seals in a trench coat. That could three. be a possibility. Three of them. Three seals in a trench coat. Three. But they only wear the trench coat to get into the clubs because it is notoriously hard to get into clubs in Scotland. <laughs> Especially if you're a seal. So they're just going to let a cryptid in there? Especially if you're a seal. They're just no, going to let a normally a, seal, like, like a dinosaur? You stay away from clubs in general. Normally you know, it's seal. It's just those you know, three seals. Really right, really just those clubs. three. They've, they've been kicked out of too many. The, the, the plot twist? They're not really seals. They're selkies. Mm, that is a plot twist. You know, I wouldn't let a selkie in any building. They just... <gasps> Racist. <laughs> what was that? <laughs> it was a sound of aggression. <laughs> Consider me aggressed. <laughs> they, they have. They are notorious for. They are notorious for tricking people. I'm sure to find the word and killing them. They've been drowning them for centuries. That's true. And if they do not clear their track record. Oh, remember we what have to put him in jail. Remember what happened to old man McGregor? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. I was the seaweed. Oh, okay. Okay, yeah. All right. right. And you would you would remember then. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, that's a thing that you would remember. Very traumatic. Many lives were lost. Especially. So, uh, yeah, he was the most traumatic, mostly because he didn't fight back. If you were He was to... very high at the time. He was so, very high. If you were tomorrow to become a mermaid-esque cryptid, where you were half human, half animal, what animal would you choose, and which half, top or bottom? Does it have to be a sea creature? No. Okay. So. Eel. Bottom. What? I would choose an eel, and, it, and the eel, the bottom of the eel would be my legs. 
That'd be very much like a mermaid, just a different yeah. eel bottom. Be useful nice because bottom. weapon, leg yeah. weapon, yeah, harmful leg weapon, I... lethal. You got me the wrong way, father. Oh, wow. <laughs> You've given me this mentality of. I... I need to like back. I am stuck on I am stuck on sea creatures. You 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 got me thinking mermaid esque, so I'm stuck on sea creatures. Sure. Octopus. That's what I was thinking. Top half. Right, exactly. The, <laughs> bulb- <laughs> the bulbously like <laughs> head of an octopus, but just it's human legs. Human legs, yeah. It's just the, <laughs> the he- bulbous head of an octopus slapped on my waist. <laughs> the eel and the octopus. Basically right. what the duo we were right. we would be. Right. I, I think if I was the eel, my top half would be like a moray eel, but I'd still have my chest and shit. Ooh. But the eel head would be inside of my chest cavity and would like reach oh, out. Oh, nice. Right? Nice. Do you know those sharks that are like long? Not personally. But do you know them? Not personally? I mean, yeah. sure. Yeah. Uh, do you know those like big mouth sharks where their mouth is just permanently open? They're Wait, like, ah, did you just take one thing. shark straight to another? Yes, I did. Okay. Are you talking about whale sharks? No, whale sharks can willingly open and close their mouths. This shark, all the all the oh, it's just a shark with his mouth open all the time. And are you big. just making animals up? No, is this a I've seen pictures of them that are probably photoshopped? You're, photoshopped. You're photoshopped. No, I'm not. I've never heard of this shark. Yeah, it's really I've weird. I don't know the name exist. of it, but it's scary. Um, <laughs> imagine I, uh, just a person having the top half of that big mouth. Always has the mouth open, shark. Just the top half is like, I don't think it even has fins. Even like, I think they're just little or they don't. Yeah, that one. It's a basking shark. Basking shark, yeah. And then there's this long shark that I don't even know classifies as a shark. I would, uh, I would choose to be a frog person and it'd be top half. I don't think that classifies as a sea creature. It didn't, that, that, what is it? I'd what? be a frog person and I'd choose the top half. Okay. I'd more or less be a bullywug from D and D. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Would you just like with hairy legs? Would you be a frog or would you be like a poisonous toad? Uh, because they're colorful. Yeah. yeah. I don't know. I'd probably go with like tree frog. Like I'd want I'd want to be able to use the stickiness of the those front hands. And... Okay. Okay. I'm here for it. Water beetle. Maybe even a poison dart frog. Who knows? Ooh. Okay. So I'd either be an eel or a seal. Like fully? Or no, like, bottom half. Bottom half? Yeah. A bottom half uh, of a seal? Yeah. Or an eel. eel. Bottom half. Yeah. I'm stuck between seal and yeah. eel. Surprisingly, outside of this podcast, I've asked a lot of people this question. And and most people choose bottom half. I think most people don't want to lose that top human half. Yeah. If I chose top half, it'd be like fucking gorilla or something. <laughs> Is strong. Oh, and then yeah. Just yeah. These little legs. Oh, like I, I like, I like. Uh, someone pointed out, it's like you, you, you know how strong gorillas are, right? Mm-hmm. That's just prime resting strength. Mm-hmm. These bitches don't go to the gym. I mean, Can you imagine if you took them to the gym to get are, them jacked up? They are living in the gym. The <laughs> jungle is their gym. They have a jungle gym. Jeez. They, they live in a gym. Like from the start of their life, they're like climbing trees. Yeah, they, they do get a lot of cardio. I mean, they might not have like a personal trainer, in, but they do get a lot of cardio in and a lot of a lot yeah. of upper body swinging from tree to tree and whatnot. Yeah, once, once they once they get birthed from the womb, they're like, "Hey, mom, I'm gonna go climb a tree," and they're like, "You just came out! You just came straight out, Jimmy!" Like, I don't care, mother. That gorilla's name was Jimmy. No, it was Timmy. Oh, I heard Jimmy. I don't... <laughs> this is a very weird podcast. I think it, I think if I asked the same question at some sort of furry convention, I'd get a lot more top half answers. Yeah, Probably. or yes half. Answers. Oh my god, can you imagine though? Like, because you know, I always I, I have a thing with werewolves. I love werewolves. <laughs> but now, now imagine someone's like, oh, I'll take the top half of a wolf. But what mm-hmm. if? And I was like, you got like bottom half humans, and but then <laughs> yeah, top half wolf. What, what if they don't? You gotta do. Yeah, what if they don't attend <laughs> Lynch, baby? That's just gonna look ridiculous. You're like, oh my god, think of them running. <laughs> like they're running with the top half, and their little arms are just like <laughs> flopping everywhere. Can they control? Oh the top my half? god, they'd be like 
T Rexes. Oh! I mean, I know they can stretch out, but you know, when a dog gets up on its hind leg, yeah. it's, it's hands. Oh I would assume, and like, you know, I don't know why I'm assuming. It's my question. I could make the rule. If I yeah, 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 to. Yeah. But I would assume that if you chose the top half of an animal and it became completely disproportionate, that the proportions would kind of oh my work God, themselves my out a bit. <laughs> sure. Yeah. You have, to, you have to be very specific on the on what you're saying. So if you want to be a werewolf, you're gonna to have to say werewolf. I want to be a werewolf. Okay. And, and then if you if you want to be a werewolf, but then you just say wolf because you're because. But wait, what kind animal. of werewolf? Was I born a werewolf? Did I sacrifice a baby to Satan to become a werewolf? Am I wearing like a wolf belt to become a werewolf? Did, did I drink? No, bit? you just. Asked. Did I drink wo- water shush, out of a wolf? Shush. Pot? Let me let me just explain okay. what. Richard was saying that you clearly heard, but I'm gonna have to explain again. Did I get bit by a werewolf? No, shush. Okay. okay. <laughs> so I will dislocate your shoulders. Please don't. If you say it, if you if you ask again. <laughs> okay. So freaking you ask to either have a bottom half or a top half of right. a werewolf. Right. So it's oh. just going to magic its oh. way. Wait, I can choose like magical creatures as my bottom half or top yes. half? Yes, yes, you can. I mean, I can you know what? Dragon. Either half. <laughs> yes, half. Either, Either half. half. <laughs> Imagine <laughs> just having a bottom half of a dragon and top half of a dragon. You got no I wings. I got no top fire half dragon on my bottom half. Oh, no. <laughs> I want to be like cat dog, except it's, it's, it's Baron Dragon. <laughs> Imagine just not attending leg day and having like this all powerful, mighty. Wait, Tanuki, bottom half. Oh, no. Dad, <laughs> no, you did. What? I know. What? There are children in this world, Dad. You're going to scar them for life. You just yeah, want that tail. You should have thought of that. The two, you just want the tail. That's all that is. Yeah, the tail. What are you thinking of? The yokai Tanuki. Tanuki. What, there are p- beautiful tails? No, wait, they fly with well, genetics. Let's get, let's not get nuts here. Let's just settle down. <laughs> we are mature. <laughs> we are, we are, we are mature adults Please, and children. If you are questioning if we were mature right now, just go back and listen to the disclaimer at the beginning of the podcast. <laughs> yeah, we took our ball to the wall on this one. <laughs> you just pulled that right out of the stack. Just right out. Yep. <laughs> testicles all right <laughs> Lilith was gonna show all her friends she was gonna be like hey everybody i was on a podcast go listen to it <laughs> now she's showing no one no one <laughs> i'm going to show everyone <laughs> i'm going to show yes i'm going to show yes the amount of people <clears throat> You ever wish you could just squat kick? What? You ever wish you could just squat kick your way out of problems? Is this just a random thought? Or yeah. are we are random, we thinking about maybe random adding thought. another animal to the <laughs> random thought, random thought. I, uh, random I, thought. I have not had that thought before, no. I mean I'm having it right now. I'm, I'm <laughs> sure I'm sure if you had if you chose bottom half kangaroo, you, you could <laughs> do that. Hey, I'd get that pouch too. Uh-huh, Wait, yeah. Middle part kangaroo. Yeah. So just the pouch, that's all you get? Like just no tails, no and, legs. And if I was like a kangaroo dude, the ripped fucking abs. Cause I mean, have we seen kangaroos? You could you could choose a, a different marsupial and still get that pouch. Yeah. Well, that's true. But the ripped abs though. Yeah, that's that true. That would be awesome. Kangaroos are stacked. Kangaroo. Stacked. I want I wanna I wanna be one of those animals that oh that is no so, can I trash. just choose top half and bottom half kangaroo? Yeah. <laughs> you just no. want to be a kangaroo. Yeah, at this point. Yeah. You're a furry. Yeah. I'm a furry. A kangaroo but... with a kangaroo with the, the mind of, of a man. Name? It's obviously gotta be Joey. Yeah. So who would who would be the most jacked cryptid of the cryptids that exist? Ooh. Who's the most jacked cryptid? Well, we saw Nessie. It. Nessie? Yeah, I mean, she got to swim. She gotta swim all day, so she's obviously that's true. <laughs> And what's the what's like what's the fight with her? You're gone. She's been swimming her whole life. You're like, I will destroy your bloodline. What's the dinosaur? I will annihilate that people... your bloodstream and or veins. 
what's the the dinosaur that people say that she is? I forgot, but it's a like plesiosaur, a Leoplorodon. <laughs> a uh, plesiosaur. Plesiosaur. Yeah, that that's what I was thinking. Maybe she's just a remnant of a dinosaur. So obviously she's seen some stuff too. So she's gonna know how to. She's gonna know how to tussle. <laughs> Alright, uh, looks like I'm going with Yeti. Uh, Yeti is kind of... Which is basically just, you know, oh yeah, oh yeah. Look, look <laughs> oh, at that. Oh, oh, oh yeah. Oh That's, yeah. I'll... He's so jacked you can see it through the fur. Like, the fur has <laughs> formed <laughs> the, even the, the muscles. Fur is jacked. The fur has changed to the muscle <laughs> no, shape because no. it can't this do anything it is. else. This is what it is. He is jacked, and the fur is jacked. The fur works out, too. Yes. The fur has its separate life, and it's like, uh. So well, it wait, just detaches the, from him. But if the fur comes off, would it... Oh, never mind. No, he goes I'll to let, the joke. I'll let the adults finish that joke at home. <laughs> yeah, I, kn I knew where that was going. Did you? I did. Did you? Yeah, you have say a dirty it. mind. I'll, you know what? I'll, I'll, I'll give you full permission to fucking say it. Pee -pee. Where was I going? Pee pee. What? Uh, no, but where? Pee pee. If the, you mean if the fur came off, I could see his pee pee? Yeah. No, that's not where I was going. Mm -mm. You expect me to think no. that what, you, that, no, that when. Some, do I need to say it? Is, that do I need to say it? I think you do. It has a job that is named breeder. You uh, you instantly think, oh Animal my breeder. god. Animal breeder. No, you don't think that. I even have proof. You even, you even said, I'm interested to see where this is going. <laughs> You even said that. No, no, no. You said that. You want that. me to tell you? You want me to tell you where I was going? Where with that? are you going? Where okay. Where are you going? Yeti's jacked, right? And if where? you said the fur where? is jacked, right? Yeah. And if what? the fur came off, yeah. What? that means the that? fur is jacked off. <laughs> Wait, does it have its own? That's a, that's a, that's a long way for a pun. Thank you. <laughs> what she doesn't even get, thank God. <laughs> That was a long fucking walk. You know what? You know what? I even called you out on the you way. You know what? what? We went there. We walked that walk. You fucking asked for it. You fucking asked for it. You fucking asked for it down there. You and I don't, fucking asked for it. And I don't, I don't even know if it'll make it into the podcast. You what? I don't even know if it'll make it into the podcast. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> Don't worry, I still called you out in front of your friends. This, I, I, this episode's gonna end up being like an hour and ten minutes. It's gonna be like, fuck, I need another five minutes. <laughs> <laughs> the and Yeti then, jacked if off. That, if, that, if that all goes in there, then you know what? You people listening to this. Fucking ask for it. <laughs> you know who else asked for it? Bringing it back around, so I force you to put this in there. Yeti. Yeti asked for it. Yeti, Yeti is also the abominable Yeti snowman. Yeti, Yeti is the abominable snowman. Shush, and he's shush. a cryptid. Yeti has a wife and children. Are you really going to expose his wife and his children to that? Only if they walk in without knocking. No. <laughs> Their children so, yeah, do not the, deserve it. So let's take this opportunity to talk about the different classification of Sam Squatch. Yes, uh, I said what? Sam Squatch. I thought we were going to talk about the sponsors we just lost. <laughs> what sponsors? <laughs> exactly. Really? Wait. <laughs> so you got your you got your Bigfoot and you got your Yeti and you got you know, it, it, are there others? Uh, you know what? I would classify if, if we're gonna if we're gonna talk about just let's just say ape men. Sure. So we have different classifications of ape men. Oh my God! What if? What if Bigfoot and Yeti were just really hairy men, and we were just making fun of their birth defect? That's that's a theory. I feel really bad. I can now. think of worse ways to go to hell. <laughs> I, I I feel bad now. It wouldn't be the first time I've heard that theory either. Yeah. So we've got the Skunk Man. Is that Florida? Yeah, that's Florida. Yeti. Sasquatch. Yeah. Which is Bigfoot. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Again. Skunk Man is most likely just a very hairy and smelly dude. Coming from Florida, that's probably very normal. Oh, the skunk ape. Yep, that's Florida. 
man bear pig. Can't, a can't ring pen deck. What? Can't, you can't forget the man bear pig. <laughs> oh yeah, that's a thing now, isn't it? The what? The man bear. Man bear. Man bear pig. The man half, bear pig. Half man, half bear, half pig. That's true. Super cereal. Super cereal. Okay, so I I had to look this up. I went to Mental Floss, mm -hmm. an article written by Miss Selenia. Nine mysterious ape men from around the world. Um, there's one called Almasty, which is uh, in the Caucasus Mountains of Central Asia. They have arms and legs like people, except they're covered in hair. The hair is like that of a bear and dark. Okay. Yeah. They're not afraid of people, only of dogs. Weird. Uh, the skunk ape of the south. Mm -hmm. Omomongo in the Philippines. Man-sized hairy ape attacking villagers and eating animals. That just sounds like a normal human. Holy crap. To you... To, to, wait, let me see where this is from. Siberia. So that's probably Jujuna. T-J-U-T-J-U-N-A. Jujuna. That sounds, that sounds right to me. Ah, of Chuchuna. <laughs> Jujuna of Chuchuna. <laughs> <laughs> Lives in Siberia and is thought of as more of a Neanderthal-like hominid than an ape. They're Ooh. said to wear animal skins and living... You know what? If a motherfucker told me that Neanderthals were still living in C Siberia, I'd believe it. Mm hmm I would, yeah. straight up. What if you just got frozen in the ice and you don't know where he's going? Like, oh. They raid villages in the night and even eat human flesh. Tribal stories of Chichuna go way back, but the first expedition to look for them was in 1928. That's a Neanderthal! The last possible sighting was in 2002 when an unknown animal was trapped in the Varyansk region. The remains disappeared and under circumstances that varied from witness to witness. They really had to kill him. They really had to kill Jim. Poor Jim. Poor Jim. That's, what I, again. that's what I'm naming him. His name uh, is Jim. The Yeren is China's version of the giant cryptidate. It stands like a man, extra long arm, so it sounds like... A normal Kyle. No, it sounds like... <laughs> sounds like a Sasquatch. Ooh, the Fear Leah. Ben Mac... Oh, it's Scotland! <gasps> Scotland! God, Scotland's got Nessie and an ape uh, creature? Jeez. <laughs> Scotland is OP. <laughs> Japan has one called the Hibigon. Again, uh, about five feet tall, though, this time. Long arms, full coat of hair. Chad. Uh, the, uh, the Orang Pendek, which I believe we've talked about. Yep. The Yowie. The Yowie is Australia's. I forgot all about the Yowie. <laughs> Australia, no. The, uh, I think the um, in Fallout, the Uguai were somewhat based off of those. The bear? Yeah. All right. Like the actual idea behind behind the Uguai of in Fallout is just like it's a bear that got irradiated and lost some right. hair. But like in order to like actually put them together, like they used like some cryptid reference. We all know Bethesda likes themselves some cryptids. cryptids. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. You can I find. Actually, uh, Fallout seventy six was one of their best games. Seventy six has Mothman, and they have a new goat. Did they put goat man in there? Or they had a new goat creature in there. Oh yeah, as well. they have uh, flatwoods in there. I don't think they have the oh, flatwoods yeah, the, monster. The, yeah, I, I heard that they do have the flatwoods monster. Actually, they have everything. See, this is why this is why I think Fallout seventy six is the best in the Fallout franchise. People people may people people may uh, dump on my opinion, but but that's okay. I'm not going to dump on your opinion, but I'm definitely going to dump on the. The appropriateness of the conversation right now. <laughs> We're talking about the cryptids, so I mean, I, I like it because of the cryptids. There was also the uh, the mon the Montauk monster. Ooh, you guys hear the about Montauk that one? Montauk monster, yes. He just actually, likes talkies. Actually, where uh, that is? Oh, is it? Yeah. The uh, I for reviewers at home, I'm I'm a uh, big fucking nerd who's wearing a Camp Half-Blood shirt right now, and Camp Half-Blood is located at Montauk. I did not know that. Yep. Um, um, but yeah, the Montauk monster, that was crazy. I mean, mm -hmm. a lot of people tried to say that it was just a... What like a hairless raccoon. It was later identified as a raccoon. Like, they once they actually got it, like, dissected it and everything like that, they did identify it as a bloated raccoon. Like, it had been, like, before it washed up on shore, it had been, like, floating in water so long that part of the skin and muscle had decayed off of the skull. So it made it look like a beak, but it was actually just part of the raccoon skull. I remember when that uh, image 
went kind of viral. On yeah, the and, it, and it I was had like, blowed it in the wa- blowed it in the water, and the the fur had been like rubbed off by the waves. And I just want to know how it ended up in there. Did somebody throw it? Did it just? I would like it? to point out though that that's exactly what they want us to think. I'm that it was a raccoon. I'm going to you sure that your arms and legs. I think that it was a science experiment that got loose and escaped and then died subsequently in its escape attempt. A very original theory, 10 out of 10. Thank you. It was also called the Hound of Bonnockville. Oh. Why Why was it a hound? I- it was nothing of a hound. Ironic, because Bonnockville was actually a thousand miles away from Montauk. <laughs> <laughs> it was actually a play off of the name... Uh, Bonnickers, which refers to the natives of East Hampton and the Hound of Baskervilles by Sir Arthur Conan Doyle. Nice. <clears throat> Some people the- did say it was a mutant experiment from the Plum Island Animal Disease Center. Mm-hmm. That's what I was, think. Which was pretty close by. So. so I'm confused. Do they have any other proof? Uh, besides the obvious hearsay? Uh-huh. No, but I think the, what other people have to say is enough. Say, the what hearsay. The only proof, and like it depends on if you believe it or not, was the scientist who dissected it and claimed it was a raccoon. Um, and it's not a very plausible hold on, hold on, hold on. What are you trying to say? But, you know, depending on what you believe or what you not believe, you could believe those scientists performed that dissection were covering up the truth. Exactly. That's the only proof you have. That's all the proof we need. No, that's not. You As need... cryptozoologists, no, that's all need, we need. need. We're just getting into the one of our units <laughs> in this bit, stream. A little bit. No, that's all we're doing. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that's that's all we can do, really. That's, yeah. that's yeah, crypto, uh, cryptozoology in a nutshell, really. Half of cryptozoology is arguing. Oh. Yeah. So we're just... Yep. In fact, actually, uh, to actually get your PhD in cryptozoology, you have to take an extensive <laughs> course on debate. This this podcast will just cover that for me. Fair. Being on our podcast counts as one credit. And <laughs> yes, it does. Yeah. It does. Okay, um, I'm just about ask, to say just, something. Just ask our interns. I, I'm going to say something. Uh, the Fiji mermaid was just sewn together. Wrong! It's Why would you take right. that from me? It's right. It's right. <laughs> In no way, no how, if you even look at science, there is no way that a monkey-looking thing could just, it's its not like they could connect like Lego pieces. Are you trying to tell me there's no furry fish either? I mean, I don't know that for sure, but... There's I'm, a lot of weird things I, the deeper you get in the ocean. Yes, I'm telling you, though, I'm telling you that there's no way that a monkey could attach to a fish like a Lego piece. That's why it was grown like that. I will deflate your brain. You just did. <laughs> I I will get the deed is all done. brain cells. <laughs> done. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. How in the how in the how in the the how can there's no scientific way? No, that's that's the point. Honestly, that that's the point. This world is built on science. Literally, yes. Yeah. So there is there's no way that the Fiji mermaid cannot just be a thing that was sewn together and chucked <laughs> into the ocean and or set on an island. See, like, I, I feel like I feel like you heard me say something at the beginning of this podcast and you're like, you know what? I'm going to come back and. <laughs> back no, no. Even though I really don't believe in the Fiji mermaid. Yeah, <laughs> it's the, the fun of a lot I'm of the fun of cryptids. A lot of the fun of cryptids, unless you are an actual cryptozoologist, a lot of the fun of cryptids is putting off, you know, is suspending disbelief and yeah. deciding, you know, hey, I'm going to believe in this thing, even though it doesn't make any sense. Yeah, exactly. I got, yeah, but I'm going to crush you know everyone's dreams. Yeah, I'm going to believe that there's a dinosaur still alive in the Congo somewhere. I, I'm going to believe. That's likely. I'm going to believe that dodos uh, survived extinction and they still live. I'm going to believe... Less likely. I'm going to believe in the purity of a congressman somewhere. It, it's it's just a suspension yes, of disbelief. I'm going to believe... I'm going to believe in reindeer that have power of flight and elves that survive sub-zero temperatures 
you know, That's in order to bring likely in order okay. to bring joy to children everywhere. To be fair, to be fair, they're in a workshop, warm. Yeah. So, yeah, but you know, but, they got they got to go outside sometime. I mean, they have an extensive underground system of tunnels and oh, okay. they're like rabbits. They yeah. spend their whole life in there. I mean, they come don't on, go Rick. get food because on, Santa Rick. goes out. Yeah, you're right. Come right. on, man. Jeez. <laughs> Flying reindeer isn't even realistic. How are they gonna fly? They just uh, they just zoom. Magic. magic. Hey. Ooh, okay then. How is the magic? Explain to me that, Dad. Uh, because of magic. How how's the magic made? Uh, magic. How's the magic made? Magic. At least some magic. Am I is answering made. her question? The magic. Like I'm no, answering you are her not. question. You the are magic not. comes from the, the magic comes from magic Christmas cake. spirit. Oh yeah. See. The magic was inside it. you all along. Uh, there is no magic inside me. Not anymore, because you just killed it with your fucking words. I killed it with science. Wow. Wow. My uh, heart beats for you. I don't like that science. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's angry science. You hear that, that out is. there? Science is killing the magic in our children. <laughs> don't let your children watch this podcast. Although I probably just ruined totally, about like a thousand childhoods. Totally let them watch this podcast and listen to this podcast on repeat. We need the we need the the watch the listen time. Like just, in fact, just you have to listen as well so that you can censor out every fuck that happens in this. <laughs> yeah, just every time one of us says fuck, just yell over it with a with a safer word. Yeah, but that means you have to watch too. So yeah, no, no. In fact, actually, you watch it first and then that let we, them watch it so you know. That way, you know where the fucks are. You right. gotta timestamp it. There's probably gonna be a compilation of how many times me and my dad argue nah. on this stream. Nah. We've argued at least only five if I times put it together. Stream. Which you're you're putting you're putting a lot of credence into our popularity right now. <laughs> yeah. Literally, we're the only ones that listen to it. Me and Rick. <laughs> mm-hmm. You listen to the podcast afterwards. I I don't. Oh, well, I mean, you have to. You edit it. Yeah, I edit it, but I don't listen to it right. after it's edited and posted. Right, but you have to edit it, so that means you have to listen to it. So I'm like, well, I'm not going to let him suffer alone. I'll listen to it. <laughs> I mean, sometimes I listen to it. when I, Other times I just look at the waveforms and I go, that doesn't look right. And I just cut it out. <laughs> okay. Okay. I'm, also, I'm also going to debunk. I'm also going. Oh, why would you do this to us? We started <laughs> no, this whole no, thing out no, magically. No, and wonderful. no, 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 no. I'm not going to debunk existence. I'm going to debunk. Okay. So let's talk aliens. Aliens. I know she was going to aliens. So stereotypical aliens, all right? They're either tall or short, but and the they're gray like, men and the green men. Yeah, and they're gray men and green men, and they have like these huge black eyes, and they have like these Voldemort-looking noses, and then they just these just turtle sad faces. Mm-hmm. So no, scrap all of that. That's not how evolution works. But if evolution were on a different planet, I mean, they may have needed to evolve under different conditions, so they yeah, may have that evolved those characteristics. Planet that involves. Let me cut you off here. We've literally never seen a planet with active life on it besides Earth. Yeah. All and right. Moving planet, on. Some planets do have possible. Yeah, theoretical life. Yeah. 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 But they still, but they're still like life, probably. No. Probably. Yeah, probably. You don't know. But cryptid life. But, Oh, oh snap! <laughs> Get that cryptid life. I didn't choose the cryptid life. The cryptid life chose me. Okay, so first of all, so they'd have to, they'd have to, like, like us and many other animals. They have to adapt, overcome, survive. I forgot the last word, so I just put survive. I'm pretty sure it's survive. You know, Mars is Mars is filled with cryptid life. That's true. Please. And so are the to... oceans of Titan. Oh man, the oceans of Titan has so much cryptid life. So much. Let let me let me please put some evolution in this. Titan has okay. cryptid life tattooed okay. across their stomach. <laughs> okay, so that's not. They need to like adapt, evolve, conquer, divide. Yes. So <laughs> so they need to like grow immunities, weaknesses, and all that. We this malnourished gray and or green bulbous black eyes looking no no that ain't cut out for survival there isn't even much food on every planet so they're gonna they're just gonna stay malnourished are they immortal or are they not we don't know what has they could have evolved into a creature that doesn't need much nourishment yeah but there's still no food so probably they'd have to travel to earth but 
They'd have and to they might not so many times that they probably would have been discovered so long ago. So they might not even they might not even be carbon based, in which case their nourishment wouldn't even have to be the same thing our nourishment was. Which but then means why do they have to? But then why do they have to come to Earth? Uh, they don't have to. Did they just monitor. Or yeah, we like do it for fun. Think about it this way: we didn't have to go to try to check out Mars, or we didn't have to go check out the Moon. We didn't have to do these things. We want to out of curiosity. So or, not necessarily. They don't necessarily have to come to Earth. They could just be coming to Earth to figure out, hey, what are those guys doing over there? Yeah, like, like maybe they know doing? something we don't. Then we want to figure out what they know. Yeah, but then, but then here's the thing. Here's the thing. Right. The thing. Thing. Here's the tea. Here's the tea. <laughs> I've never used the phrase tea up until now. Okay, so they'd obviously have to adapt to their surroundings. So Mars, no malnourished aliens. No, there isn't even much food on Mars. There isn't food on Mars. There's cryptid food. Dad. Sorry. Okay, so maybe, <laughs> just maybe, they will. They live off of dust. And who said they were from Mars? They could be from anywhere. Okay, but Mars is an example, Richard! (laughs) So, they were to live on Mars. Their primary food source would be either dust. Is there water on Mars? There has been water found on Mars, yes. Okay, so, but not a lot of water, right? Well, the whole thing is the water's underground. So, like, the whole thing where you're saying there's no food on Mars, there could be creatures living in the water Ooh. underground on Mars and those yeah, creatures so they'd have could to be, be like, a food source. So they'd have to be pale, yeah. but then they just like live gray? on water and dust. Or just live on water. So Or the other creatures probably, in like, the water. Like they could or, live off yeah, they'd be like aquatic species that live underwater. Mm-hmm. And by that they'd just be pale. Mm-hmm. And then moon aliens. There probably aren't any moon aliens. No, probably not. Most likely not. And then Goodbye, Moon Men. Yeah, goodbye, Moon Men. And uh, is, does Uranus even count as a planet? Yeah. Okay, Uranus. I mean, maybe not. <laughs> well, maybe Uranus not. doesn't, but Uranus. Uranus. But Uranus is the planet. Yeah. Okay. So I don't know the conditions to live there. So probably no life there. Probably no life there. Yeah. No, probably not. Um, the Moon could, probably could have had life, but then went extinct because there are craters in there. Mm-hmm. What were the craters for? The craters obviously had to come from something. Mm-hmm. Or were they just formed? No, they came from then something. Probably, it's... Like, but then probably meteors were like... It's actually theorized that the moon was a chunk of Earth. Then the Earth would have a chunk taken out of it. Cryptid Earth. It yeah. does. Have you ever seen an ocean? But then the ocean would go to the core of the Earth and then we'd all die. because Not necessarily. The, the water fills in, it cools that part of the, the core or the that part of the mantle and then it becomes the crust. There is a second ocean under our ocean, so that could be a possibility. But I'm not going to believe in that because science. Cryptic ocean. Dad. Yeah. I. I will do. I'm sorry. I'm trying I, to. I'm trying to bring it back to cryptids. I you will, keep trying to take it away. I'm bringing will, it back to cryptids. I will do more than just detach your limbs. <laughs> will you take them to the four corners of the country and hang them up as warnings to your enemies? No, I. Damn it. I'd put. I'd put them in the non-existent hollow earth. Well, that's not fun. No one will. No one will fear you. Everybody unless they saw them, unless like, they saw her do it. That's, exactly. That's true. I do it in public. Okay, so Put that shit on YouTube. Yeah. Ooh. Okay, so moon life probably went extinct. Pluto life probably no life there. Probably not. Um, no. Venus planets. Maybe. What is? Uh, I forgot what Venus was. <laughs> was it the ring planet? No, that's the no. acid rain planet. Acid rain planet. Okay, no life there. Maybe. No, no, li- no life can yeah. withstand acid. Yeah. No life can withstand drug acid and acid. If, wow. uh, the, uh, I'm, I'm going to save you some time, Lilith. If there are aliens, they're most likely not in our solar system. Yes. But then that means there's, like, another solar system. And then well, we have to travel to that solar system and probably use a few, lose a few astronauts. So correct. probably not going to find any aliens anytime soon. No, probably not. Not unless they come to us. Yeah, in which they did, probably. Mm-hmm. Oh, Bermuda Triangle is kind of... We detached from the whole cryptid thing. We? We, yes. You, I, you, I you Lilith, it. detached from the whole cryptid thing. Yeah, but Bermuda Triangle has been rumored to hold aliens, to hold aliens. And yeah, that. I mean, I guess as long as we're talking about aliens, we're still on the cryptid. Yeah, 
Yeah, so yeah. so I guess the Bermuda Triangle could be a cryptid hotbed, if you will. Yeah, maybe crypt, Maybe it's a cryptid club. We don't know. Maybe Bigfoot goes there once in a while, like, hey, hey, guys, I'm here. And like the crowd just like, woo! And they party. Cryptid club. So I guess here's, here's another question. We were talking, taking it back a little bit. Mm -hmm. Okay. We were kind of talking about werewolves being cryptids. Mm -hmm. Would that mean that vampires are cryptids? Yeah. I think so. Yeah. A vampire is a creature that, I mean, like, its existence hasn't been confirmed. So why not? Sounds like a cryptid to me. And it doesn't really fit the, it doesn't really have the exclusion that you put forward that, like, you know, it's part of someone's religion or, right. or culture. Like, obviously, any kind of myth is part of someone's culture, like, if you think about it enough. But, like, it's not, like, yeah. a, a sacred or a religious thing. Yeah. If anything, the people, they're considered uh, to be anti-religious, I guess. But, hear me out, hear me out. Vampires are confirmed. Because remember, vampire bats. They're bats, and they suck blood. So. Well, a vampire bat, sure, but vampires as we know them in lore have not been confirmed. Oh, yeah. Humanoid well, vampires. Va vampire bats don't have a, like... Vampire bats are only called vampire life. bats because mm -hmm. they're, they're, named, carnivorous. they're named after vampires. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They don't have a weakness to garlic, but they but every creature does have a have a weakness to steaks. That's true. Yeah. Yeast. I can't tell if you how many hard vampires enough. I've taken out. No, every every creature, every creature. Did they have a good time? They did. Having a good time. Yeah. Having a good time. Take them out for steak? No. Just or not a garlic steak. steak. Wooden steak. Oh, we can't eat a wooden steak. Yeah, that's why they wouldn't have a good time. Because yeah. they couldn't eat it, and it would hurt their teeth. Okay. But I mean, like, sharp wooden steak with an A, not an E, just A. So, I was saying we don't have a ton of representations of cryptids in popular culture. Yeah. But let's talk about representations that we do have of cryptids in popular, popular culture. What's your yeah. favorite that's representation of a cryptid in popular culture? X Files, kind Which, of. Especially back when they were doing their Monster of the Week kind of episode, yeah. Uh, I can see X Files being a uh, doing good at representing cryptids. Mm -hmm. And then uh, you know they, they touch on aliens a lot. Which if we're we're if we're lumping aliens in there, then yeah, absolutely. Yep. So, so this is X Files. Yours, Brad? Yeah, I'm I'm sticking with um I'm sticking with Mothman. The Mothman oh, prophecies. It, it it was the Richard Gere weird, one. Weird, but I I liked it a lot. I like how they approached it. <laughs> Dude, Mothman should be a psychic. He should he should quit being a crypt and just go full on psychic. I mean, if you watch the Mothman prophecies. <laughs> no, but I mean like set up no, shop no, no. and everything. Oh, that's super. Oh, like, yeah, like the you Mothman know. Mothman festival once in a while. Like, hey, I can read your. Future. And then you did bring up Supernatural earlier. Mm -hmm. I would say Supernatural definitely in the first couple seasons when they yeah, were yeah, Monster yeah. of the Week. But yeah, they, they had a lot of good stuff in there. I'm gonna... You know, I think this is kind of going outside of the box here, but I'm gonna say Cabin in the Woods. Oh, that sounds familiar. Cabin in the Woods. You haven't seen it, I don't think. But there's a lot of things in that movie that like don't get a whole lot of explanation, but they definitely... There's definitely a lot of cryptids in that movie. Oh, yeah. Especially, you know, during during that during the ending climax, there like it's, do, it's oh yeah. Do witches count as cryptids? No. Okay. No, we've we've what confirmed the, the existence. No. Okay. <laughs> do talking goats count as cryptids? I'm sure if there was legend of a talking goat, sure, why not? <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, cryptids, they're neat. Yeah. <laughs> Dog. <laughs> Like they got a, yeah, they have a big dog over there now, don't they? <laughs> no, they got a werewolf. Did they they got Chauncey over there? Yeah. Probably. He's coming over to visit that son of a bitch. He never comes see us. <laughs> I, I want to hang out with Chauncey. How about this? Urban legends. Those are basically cryptids. Right? Yeah. So like, like steroids. And obviously. Like, I mean, like, you know, the legend of uh let's say you got an urban legend, like if you go here or do this thing, you just die. You know what I mean? Like, that's... Yeah. If there's no monster or whatever involved, like, obviously, that's not a cryptid. But it, right. But I mean, like, Bloody, Bloody Mary is kind of... I mean, at that point, are we, like, would we count ghosts as cryptids? Yeah. I mean, they're not really proven to be exist existing, but 
I don't, that, I don't know. I think there's a debate to be had for that one well, way or another. On. We're including werewolves and vampires. Mm-hmm. Why not ghosts? In which vampires are technically dead. But here's here's a good example of, of a cryptid in uh, urban legends. The sewer gator. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's proven to be existed. A hundred percent. Uh, yeah, but everybody talks about having a fucking sewer gator. Mm-hmm. Every yeah. city you're in, everybody yeah. talks about having a sewer gator. The, the baby gator that got flushed down the toilet and then mm-hmm. grew up to be a big gator. Yeah, that's definitely encrypted. The, the lake piranhas. <laughs> yep. The alligator version of Bane. Yeah, the lake piranhas. Uh, I would, I would, uh, what about the black eyed children? Yeah, we can count those. Let's yeah. just not talk about that, please. Thank you. Oh, is that is that triggering? Like, okay, like I have I have very few phobias, but one of my phobias is like demonic children. You know, like, I don't know what it is. It's like I, I felt bad even bringing this up because I was going to recommend this podcast to a friend of mine. Uh huh. And his big he hates black eyed children, and I as soon as I said it, I was like, oh fuck, I'm not going to be able to recommend this to him now. <laughs> So maybe we don't talk about them. Okay, uh, going back to Lake Babies. <laughs> you really want to just... They're I, not dead babies. I'm not saying they they're, are. What, they're not what, dead babies. What are Lake Babies? Okay, so basically, they're babies that just got abandoned by their mothers. Their mothers put them on, like, a raft, send them out in the lake, expecting them to die. But no, the babies evolved. They evolved into Lake Babies. Oh, they adapted into these mermaid-like things. They like live. They like. They became kind of mermaids. They lived off of like, uh, the food, the the fishes in the lake, and they can like breathe underwater. I think. Yeah, that's. Do like, they have gills? Maybe I don't know. <laughs> um. Yeah, those are lake babies. I'm glad you made it through that. An urban legend. But yeah, urban legends I think would definitely count as cryptids if the urban legend involves. Yeah. A like unconfirmed a creature. creature yeah. Yeah, because yeah, even I, the candy man, I would say, would probably be a cryptid. A can Oh yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he hasn't been proven to be exist, but there have been sightings that have not been proven to. Be but yeah, true. but yeah, I, I mean, I mean, even I was like, I grew up in Columbus, Ohio, like in the city, mm-hmm. and like we'd have these like little, I don't even want to say ponds, but they were like little itty bitty bodies of water, just yeah. like in basically like, puddles. I mean, well, I mean, yeah, but they were big. But oh yeah, the the story was that someone dropped their piranha in there, mm-hmm. and you don't get, go in that water because then the piranha will get you. And it's like, and Just I guarantee shoot the piranha. you, I guarantee you, this is some parent somewhere that's like, I don't mm-hmm. want you going in that fuck of water, and they're like, oh, I'm going in the water. There's a piranha well, in there. there's piranha in there, so mm-hmm. I would do it. <laughs> you would have a hard time with me. If- you were the parent that made up that urban legend. I, I would say that. more than half of cryptids are just parents trying to get their kids not to do something. Yeah, yeah. or to do something. Yeah. yeah. Like, uh, there's, I mean, the there's, amount there's, of German there's... folklore that involves what what is actually now cryptids. Oh my god! Like the that thing that cut off your thumbs with the giant scissors. Oh my god! Baba uh, Yaga. Hey, uh, the, Krampus. Yeah, Krampus, Baba Yaga. You know what? Krampus is a cryptid. Boom. Yeah. That's yeah. my that's it. That's that's my guilty creek. That's your guilty creek. Krampus is a cryptid. Yeah. Krampus is a cryptid. Okay. Okay. I also have another thing. There's this version of the tooth fairy, but it's not the tooth fairy. Haha, I tricked you. Um, it actually tricked kids into thinking that if you like put your tooth under your pillow, uh, this witch girl who lives in a lake. Uh, and has very terrible teeth, would come steal your teeth. So the kids would just throw it at their neighbor, at like, over their fence and to their neighbor's lawn. So. Oh, that was actually a real thing. That happened. They covered that on the news. Um, that She's in jail forever now, so. <laughs> mm-hmm. yeah. No, I'm kidding. That's, I, <laughs> <laughs> that would be fucking horrible. That, 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 a <laughs> double life sentence. <laughs> that would actually be very funny. Like, no, no, it would I wouldn't be, even be mad. It would be it would be funny to have someone like telling a story like that that's like to them just a complete urban legend, and then they're like, Oh no, dingoes ate her baby. That happened. <laughs> <laughs> I would just start howling. 
I just I just start laughing. What uh what pop culture icons do you believe in their own universe would be a cryptid? Um for example, the Teenage yeah. Mutant Ninja Turtles in oh, their own awesome. universe oh, are one hundred percent cryptids. Like yeah. you know there are people who've seen giant turtles and tell stories of the giant turtles that and then like but nobody believes them. So like the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles are absolutely cryptids within oh. their universe own universe. Oh. No, yeah. no, dude, as soon as you said it, I had it. You ready? Gargoyles. Oh, gargoyles. Yeah, in their gargoyles. own universe. She's seen gargoyles. <laughs> Thank you, Disney Plus. <laughs> Uh, oh yeah, hundred percent gargoyles. Oh, oh, here's another good one. Two of them. Two good ones. You ready? Ooh. Yeah. Gummy bears. Okay. All right. For their world. Okay. For their world. Another big one. Huge one. You ready? What? Smurfs. Oh yeah. Mm. Oh. Don't nobody believe Gargamel. Nobody. Sour Patch Kids. Remember in the commercials where Sour Patch Kids messed with the people? I think they're confirmed in their own universe, though. Maybe, maybe though. Maybe Sour Patch Kids are like, <laughs> are like running from the cops. I feel like we're forgetting some like big ones. Fraggles. Oh, Fraggles. Yeah. Oh my God. Yeah. I mean, mm -hmm. as as bad as I've decided that show is now. <laughs> my it, Little Pony. It totally. They were horrible people. Call back to two episodes ago. Right. <laughs> <laughs> um, my Little Pony would probably be one, even though My Little Pony doesn't even, like, verify humans are in it. Yes, are there humans in order to talk about the ponies in that universe? Oh my god, oh my maybe god. Some, maybe some, maybe some, like, species of ponies are just, like, urban legends. The Guild Train is bringing the new one in. Yep, yep. Guild Train, hold on, I've got the news. Toys. Yeah! Oh my Toys god. <laughs> At least, oh at God. least some toys must have screwed up, and their kids were like, "Oh, they were like, oh they're straight, and they're fucking." It's like they are straight cryptids, and someone yeah. saw them move. Yeah, oh, some Sid. toys Just must have screwed Sid. up. Nobody can. No, be no, no, no. Hold on. Which it was Sid, right? Yeah, think about Sid. Yeah, yeah. yeah Sid, Sid saw them. I mean, granted, he grew up to be a he grew up to be an upstanding contributing member of the society. Oh yeah, yeah. he became a Sid garbage was a man. Terrible but still, kid, but it's like, you know he told somebody. Yeah, you know he did. Oh yeah, yeah. that's the first thing he did. He ran off and was like, told his parents. Yeah, like some kids must. Oh, have seen you, their and you know he told his parents up. and they beat him, right? You know yeah. that. Had yeah, that's they beat him horribly. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, Most they didn't likely. send him to therapy. No, no, oh no, they didn't have money for therapy. No, no, they beat him. No, so in he, fact, they did have money for therapy, but they thought it would cause autism. I see that. I see that with Sid's parents. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like maybe they he got to talk to the school Sid. counselor. Yeah, they probably didn't even stop Sid. They were like, "Ask." Hey, no, they had sister. to shut him up because if he said anything like that to anybody else, it would embarrass them. Yeah, so, yeah. Anyways, yeah. but yeah, toys, totally. Yeah, mm -hmm. Toy Story. I feel like there's more. I feel like there's bigger ones that are missing. Toys okay. was my big one though. Probably. I mean, like, my big one was, was the one I said first. Yeah, no, that was good, too, though. Yeah. Gumball. The, but in the show, there. remember, there was a very minor thing. There was a very minor episode in the show where there was a quip, cryptid. Where there was a cryptid. It was basically a ripoff of Bigfoot. Well, yeah, but it's not a cryptid there. It's a confirmed character that they know that it exists. No, just some people. Not, not everybody in the show knows about knows about the Sasquatch's death and existence, so... Isn't there some worlds where humans are the cryptids? Yeah. I mean, probably. Yeah. I think, okay, bear with me. I will. I think in several Legend of Zelda games, Link is a cryptid. No, his existence this, is confirmed. This fairy boy in green just shows up in your town, breaks all your pots, doesn't and you're just speak, okay with it. just yells, ha! Like a bunch yeah. of times. He just yells at you. And like, like oh, hey, little boy. Ah! And then leaves, and you never see him again. Until he's Dude, like, you know Mario was a straight cryptid. Oh my god, yeah. Okay, that Every you're going to have to explain Mario to me. Mario was a cryptid. No, no, no. Except for Yoshi. Mario was the only oh, cryptid. Cool. Explain this one to me. Uh, he like just pops in. Yeah. Starts crushing things. I mean, Luigi does He never too. comes back. You Doesn't. can't go back. You can never go back to the same area twice. <laughs> I mean, in the original Super Mario Brothers, yeah, sure. you can't do anything about if it. If we're going to talk about like the Mario canon in general, like he comes back <laughs> over and over and oh, over yeah. and over. I have a theory again. about Mario. He is a cryptid that who later confirms himself as real. Oh, oh, you ready? Batman. Oh, Batman's a hundred percent a cryptid. 
Batman is 100% encrypted. Especially yeah. in the early years. Especially in the early oh, yeah, years. Yeah, yeah. Like, Batman, later on, Batman later on, it became a thing where, like, everybody knew Batman was real. Like, yeah, by the time, by the time Nightwing was a thing, and Red Hood was a thing, and Red Robin was a thing, like, it, like everybody was like, oh, yeah, that's Batman. He just, yeah. he just does stuff. But, like, early years? Oh, 100%. Like, especially to the villains that he hunted. Like, they talked about Batman. They were like, the yeah. Bat. Yeah, like, it's... The yeah. Bat. Oh, they yeah, Batman. They know his name. The, they and then, called it, him like, the bat. you talk about Marvel, then, you know, you're looking at, like, Namor and the Atlanteans. Mm-hmm. Mutants. There for a little bit. Yeah, I, I yeah. was going to say, yeah, I was going to say little the bit. mutants. But for, for, was, yeah, uh, for just yeah. a little bit. Iron Man for a little while was a cryptid. I mean, you could, yeah, you could definitely argue that any superhero with a secret, secret identity, identity, like Spider Man, yeah, except but, well, but well, like what, what Rick's gonna say, I'm gonna agree with what Rick's gonna say, yeah, because like everybody knows Spider Man is real, like they don't know who Spider Man is, but they, they, like Spider Man confirmed existence, like he doesn't hide the fact that he exists. Now, like if you have the heroes like Batman, they hide in the shadows. Yeah. Like they don't confirm that they exist, but Spider Man, oh, yeah. yeah, Spider Man's like in the public eye. He's like, yeah, I'm the hero. You know what I mean? Like, like yeah. Batman, Batman early on, they were even like, you know, they were they were crooks that were just like, uh, the bat doesn't exist. Yeah. Until Batman, like just even the cops, the world. some of the cops were saying that. Some yeah. of the superhero. Oh, in one of the cartoons, Green Lantern meets Batman. He's like, oh, you're real. Uh huh. The Batman animated series, which is like one of the best. Depictation oh, yeah, of yeah, Batman yeah. and pop culture. Yeah. The first episode is the Man Bat episode, mm-hmm. and the whole premise of the episode is that like nobody knows if Batman is real or Man Bat is real or if they are the same thing or if they're not. Yeah, like that's that just is is cryptid all around. Oh yeah. Okay. Okay. I have I have a probably not counting proposition. Iron Man. No. For like no no hear me out hear me out. For like at least four or three seconds of the movie, he was <laughs> yeah, it, he was encrypted until Iron Man. I mean Tony Stark was like, I I Iron you, Man, I appreciate me. I appreciate your love of Tony and and Iron no. Man, but I don't think that this qualifies. I don't no, even me either. The, I don't even think the government would just would just no, put the, out this video. The government knew straight up. Yeah, that that now, was Ant Man, the original Ant Man, Hank Pym. In the Marvel Cinematic Universe, I think would be you could classify as a cryptid. Yeah, because yeah. even the government was trying. The government knew, but I mean, how many cryptids do you think the government knows about? I mean, yeah, come on. yeah, yeah. Um, All of them. Exactly. So, yeah, I I could see Ant Man. Yeah, because you couldn't see him. Yeah. So yeah, yeah, I could see that. You ever see the uh, cartoon show Mummies Alive? Yeah. That sounds like a dumb cartoon show. It, it was. How dare you? <laughs> it sounds cheesy. It was. It was. They they knew Egypt foo. I can already taste this. Or it, no, it's Egypt Sue. Egypt Sue was their martial art that they used. I can already taste this. Taste the cheese. Yeah, we know. Yeah. But yeah, already, I think they would definitely be cryptids. How about this? The Adams family. Oh, the Adams family are excellent cryptids, I think. No. I mean, yeah. they don't even well, really hide. The movie, the movie, they didn't go out in public. That's not what they did. I didn't see the movie. All I saw I was mean, the I show. Mean, in the movie, I, what I should have said is, in the movie, they go out in the public. And so people know who they are. But even then, when they go out in the public, it's just like, who the fuck are, what is happening mm-hmm. with these people? Like, yeah. They were always the... That's back like, when you know, the cre- Roth wasn't normal. You know the creepy house that no one goes and trick-or-treats at? Yeah. That was the... That was the Adams family. No one knew yeah. who lived there. It was just... They thought it was abandoned. Yeah. Until they just come out like... Ugh. Yeah. Uh, uh, well, I would contend that their house was a museum where people would come oh, yeah, to totally. see them. Totally. Yeah. Totally. Yeah. They even had a tiger. And keep going. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes they would say it was an altogether scream. The Adams <laughs> family. Their Halloween decorations were killer, though. Yeah, one hundred percent. He's he he's he's saying the words to the song. I know. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, oh, totally. The Adams family. Uh, you know what? But I would make the argument that the monsters are not. No, definitely not. Uh, they are. They are one hundred percent upfront about what they are. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Which the Adams family is. 
as well, but they just don't leave very much. Okay. Yeah, the other thing, here's the other thing. And I could be wrong about this, but the way I see it, the monsters are upfront about what they are, but they also know that they're different, so they address it. While the Adams family will be upfront about who they are, but they aren't forthcoming about it because they don't see themselves as the oh, weird see. ones. Yeah, they don't see the need to make a big deal out of it. Yeah. So, like, the whole thing is, like, yeah, if someone asks, like, hey, are you, like, trying to kill your brother right now? They'd be like, yeah, totally. But... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the, the brother's like Morty. But they don't, uh... They don't go, oh, by the way, I'm trying to kill my brother right now, because in their minds, it's, of course I'm trying to kill my brother right now, aren't you? Like, isn't it obvious? Are mm -hmm. you blind? Oh, yeah, I, I could make an argument that Rick and Morty are kind of like cryptids. Oh, Rick is definitely a cryptid to certain people. Yeah. Rick is definitely a cryptid. Oh! Yeah, and, and, that's, and that's the thing, though, with Rick, he is a cryptid, but only because we see him and we can confirm that he is indeed Rick. Uh-huh. But there are multiple but Ricks. What don't we know about him? Yes. Oh yeah. And but like then, not even 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 the whole thing where we can confirm he exists. How many planets and universes can't? How many planets and universes does he come in, show up, do some shit, and then leave? And then nobody can like there are those few people who tell the story. Like think about oh what's that planet there was the planet he went to that was basically the purge. And there were those yeah, cat, yeah, people. cat people. And, like, he showed up and, like, completely wrecked their purge. Yeah. And then peaced out. And you know they talked about him afterwards. To, like, to huh. him, to him, they're a cryptid. He's, he's a cryptid. Yeah. But then we could also make the argument, going back to Gravity Falls, that uh, Ford, oh. Ford, Ford was definitely Ford. a cryptid. It's funny, though, in a, in a show like, <laughs> in yes. a show like, like Gravity, Gravity Falls... Falls you go straight the, to Ford being the cryptid yeah. and not literally everything else. Not yeah. all the cryptids. <laughs> um, Pacifica has the looks of a cryptid. She's ugly. Christ. Uh, don't forget all the people who talked about in Rick and Morty, you got all the people who told the stories of Sylvania, Slovenia afterwards. I'm not I'm not allowed to watch if Rick. any if any of them survived afterwards. It basically, my point is a lot of pop culture just because of the because of the lens that we see it through, there's a lot of pop culture things that because we see it through the camera, we don't look at them as a cryptid, but within their own universe, they would 100% be a cryptid. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, definitely. And, and it's funny, too, because I've never stopped to look at the shows that I watch in that lens. Right. But it's it's fascinating, really, when you, when you stop to think about it. Like, I'm not whole, like thinking about all the... Oh, like, you know what? Let's go back. You ready? Mm hmm Supernatural. The Winchesters? The Hunters. The Winchesters uh -huh. are fucking cryptids to the cryptids. Yeah, there's like, yeah. oh, it's the Winchesters. Is that's a uh, that's cryptidception the there. The, the Winchesters is just a feared name in the cryptid well, world. Well, uh, it, it, well, this is the thing. This is how Inception-esque it is. Mm -hmm. To the cryptids, the hunters themselves are cryptids. Yeah. And within the hunters, the Winchesters are cryptids to other fucking hunters. So I guess right. the Winchesters are just... Especially especially in the earlier seasons. I mean, later, in like, when, like, the men of letters get, like, get a hold oh, wait, of Winchesters no, no, no. and stuff like that, but... Yeah, oh, I mean, later on is when the Winchesters start getting revered as, like, people you don't fuck with. Yeah, they're no longer cryptids. Like, they they know you exist. It's just one of those things that, yeah, don't, don't fuck with them. Yeah, it's 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 insane. It's insane the levels that they got. Mm -hmm. I'd like to say something very controversial. Okay, so Gravity Falls. Every cryptid in Gravity Falls is not a cryptid anymore because they've been discovered. I wouldn't say every one of them, especially seeing as yeah. how there's a difference between someone there's a difference between someone seeing it and it being confirmed to that person and it being like scientifically confirmed. Well, you know Bill what I mean? Like cryptid. Yeah, Bill is Bill Cipher is a hundred percent a cryptid. A whole town saw him. You can't you can't just back away from that. But a that town, if someone outside of that town went to 
somewhere on the other side of the country and tried to say, hey, there's this thing called Bill Cipher, they'd be like, you're you're crazy. And so, they're you know. They're from Gravity Falls. They're, yeah. they're from Gravity Falls for Zeus' sake. But, yeah, so. I will say, too, we're looking at, we're looking at different levels, too. Uh, so, yeah. like, all of those things that show up in there, even Bill Cipher is encrypted at some point. Mm-hmm. Because Bill Cipher is eventually forgotten because the mayor of this town is like, spoiler, forget it. Spoiler, spoiler warning. <laughs> but I mean, like Gravity Falls is such a popular show; people must have watched it and finished Maybe. it, or at least dropped off from the show. There's a lot of people who have it. Yeah, but they should. Yeah, you yeah. should. You should go watch Gravity Falls. I, I I will say, especially considering this is the cryptid episode of uh caster's guild so if i can recommend any good cryptid related show for you to watch gravity falls get on it because it's a great fucking show it It really is is. of humor and mystery and seriousness but yeah it's it just Uh, goes to show you how easy it would be to become a cryptid if you wanted to become a cryptid yourself I'll just I'll just glue That's on a my bunch goal of fur on me. Just go out and do some weird shit where only a couple people will see you. Something that those couple of people would tell other people, and you're cryptid now. That's where that's where ground homes come in handy. You make homes out of the environment around you. Like I don't mean chop down wood. I mean actually make home out of the ground Hobbit and holes. Get into a livable environment state. Sure. So, or just make a tree house and make it look all creepy and such. And people will be like, which of the woods? Right there, which of the woods? Don't go near that house. Get cursed. Which of the woods? Goals. Yep, I, goals. I, I, wanna, I kind of want to become a witch of the woods. Goals. Like, I mean, there are worse goals. Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> just going out of the house. Like, what do you want? I mean, you could you could want to kill an entire an entire people. Instead, you just want to be a, a cryptid. You know? Yeah. I want to become Witch of the Woods. I'll be known as the um, the Blair Witch. Wow. Except not kill people. I mean, I mean, if you want to half-ass it, I guess. <laughs> Just put a bunch of creepy signs near my shack, and then boom, Blair Witch right there, Blair Witch. Oh, I mean, if I had a cabin out in the woods, I'm putting weird shit hanging from the trees. Yeah. That's yeah. Just all- I'm putting. I'm. I'm going to. I'm going as far as to put deer skulls hanging from my shack. Just to keep people away from my property. Like, this is my property. Ooh, Don't Are you going to be Fuzzy Lumpkins from the... Uh, oh, girls. Yeah, sure. He's, yes. He's a cryptid. He is. Is he? Yeah, sure. Because yeah. he eventually comes into the city and, like, you right. know, he's but you know, just people, like any other... You know people talked about him before, right? Yeah. So, okay. He, I would say he was a cryptid. Yeah, okay. That's fair. Yeah. And then existence confirmed yeah. when the Powerpuff Girls put him in jail. And then, you know, no longer a cryptid. Oh, yeah. A uh, uh, cockroach guy from the Powerpuff Girls. He was, like, friends with cockroaches. You know, people had to talk about him. And some people didn't believe the stories. Until they put him in jail. Yeah, right. until then. Every character in Powerpuff Girls, except for Mojo Jojo, and every, like, reoccurring villain, mm-hmm. has had to be a cryptid at some point until they got put into jail. Yeah. And prank robbers, mm-hmm. all of the stereotypical stuff. How big do you think a cryptid would have to be until it was classified as a kaiju? Ooh. Hmm. 30 feet. Oh, God, that's a good question. Probably 30 feet, you think? No, as tall as Godzilla. Because it has cr- to be that big? That's pretty fucking big. Yeah. Cause, cause, no, I would say because, you know, King Kong is 100% a kaiju, but he's yeah. not even half as tall as Godzilla was. No. Oh, wait, what's the tiniest kaiju? Big Bird. Okay, as tall as Big Bird. Are you fucking kidding me right now? <laughs> no, Big Bird is a kaiju. I will die on this hill. <laughs> Big Bird is my favorite you kaiju. Use, you gotta use a, a, a decree, Arya? <laughs> do it, do it. <laughs> you know what, yeah. You know what, on the cryptid episode, I'm using my guild decree to declare that Big Bird is a kaiju. Guild decree. Okay. Done. <laughs> That's great. Oh my god! <laughs> as tall as Big Bird to be a kaiju. Okay. We should. We should never ever like if we were ever given this real power, we should wait, never <laughs> ever use wait, it. Wait, then you're then you're a kaiju. Why am I so, a kaiju? How to, wait? How tall is Big Bird? I actually at least thought. seven foot tall. Seven eight. But foot you have tall. to also be a bit of a monster. Too. Well, yeah. Fine. Okay. Here's here's the thing. The requirements. Here's to be why I think Big Bird is a kaiju. He's big. 
being a kaiju is not about size alone relative to human beings. Yes. Okay. It's about relative size to the animal that you represent. Okay. Like if you look at King Kong, King Kong is one biggest fuck gorilla. So what you're trying to tell me right now is if I had a tardigrade this big, kaiju? No, it has to be as tall as Big Bird. Well, it's a tardigrade? It's like a microscopic little animal? Oh, yes, 100% that'd be a kaiju. Yes. Yes. Jesus. Jesus. Yes, please. I'm here for it. We just, we just so equipped like, that the Big limit. Bird, Big no Bird is, is supposed no to be based off of like a canary or another tiny little bird. I thought so was like the fact that he's like seven or eight feet tall, definitely a kaiju. Oh, yeah. I thought the requirements like, Because like, kaiju. okay. No, you're not so listening. you would agree. You would agree that Pacific Rim is a kaiju movie. Yeah. Right. Okay. So, like the babies that come off those kaiju's are only about this big. They're still kaiju's. Just because they're only this big doesn't mean it's not a kaiju. Right. It's all about relative size. Do you think the kaiju babies just come out of the womb almost half the size as their parents, or just do they come out this big? I think it depends on a kaiju. Big Bird because pretty clearly said that he was. To. Big Bird pretty clearly said he was born from an egg. So I mean, that must have been a big egg. So like Mothman. Mothman. Kaiju. Kaiju. Yeah. Because if it's based off a of moth. Yeah. Mothman's a kaiju. <laughs> while while a werewolf, not so much. Not a kaiju. Yeah, because I mean, like, here's the thing though. It's all in separate species. Here's the thing though. Species. No, you're right, kaiju. I'm sticking with it. Yeah, because 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 werewolf werewolf might be bigger than a wolf, but not big enough to be considered a kaiju. I don't okay. think. What if they weren't hunched over? Let's say you got to be at least at least, and like this would be pushing it. I think you got to at least be ten times bigger than whatever the smaller version of you would be. Okay. So if, yeah, so if you're like so if you're ten times bigger than a baby, you're a kaiju. So if like you're six feet tall, if you have a thing that's six feet tall, it better be sixty feet tall, right? At least. Oh wait, so that's you have fair. to be you have to be ten times taller than the average male and or female height for a human to be a kaiju. Yeah, so like for example, there's that uh there's that movie was the fifty foot woman I think it is. So she must have been a kaiju. So your average woman's about five foot tall, I think. So 50 foot woman, kaiju. Wow. And honestly, you don't even have to be 50 feet tall to be 10 times bigger than someone who's five feet tall. Because you grow in multiple directions. So like, it's not necessarily, like if you put 10 five foot tall women together, they'd only be 50 foot tall tall if you stack them all together. I mean, you got to grow the other way too. So. So what about... But I would say if you're 10 times bigger than the original, you while you might still qualify as a kaiju, you'd be a small kaiju. Small baby kaiju. Because like Godzilla is obviously way more, way bigger than 100, than 10 times bigger than a lizard. You're like a bug to him. Even if you took a Komodo dragon, like he's, he's way more than 10 times bigger than a Komodo dragon. Obviously. But here's the question. Is Godzilla a cryptid? No. Hmm. A whole city saw him, Dad. He's come back for like at least depends one. on the depends on the movie, I guess. Yep. Well, he, here here's the deal. He's come back for reoccurring decades. Mothra. What? One hundred percent a cryptid. Yeah, Mothra. Oh yeah. Mothra doesn't appear as much. Mm-hmm. And there's legends. Mm-hmm. I think you know what? Maybe that should be a, one of the qualifications of a cryptid. There has to be legends. Yes. People talk. Sure. About them. Yeah. Well, that's how you become like. I mean, if nobody talks about you. Then you're no longer an unconfirmed creature. You just do you see what I'm saying? Like, like yeah. I think the definition I read earlier, I think said it has to have been claimed to exist, but never proven to exist. So, like, if nobody talks about you, then nobody's made that claim. Yeah. So, yeah. I right. mean, so that's why, like, if when people discover new animals, it's never you know, oh, you know, former cryptid is you know, it's yeah. not cryptid. It's because they just never knew it existed. Yeah. Something different. Now, if if that animal had been like oh this animal looks exactly like this thing that has been written about in lore for centuries then there's your former cryptid right ooh 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 uh you guys may not know about this one but siren head not not a cryptid nor an urban legend 
No, not no, 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 not in the real world. Not in the real world. What? I, oh. Yeah, this is. In, You're saying in his world. Yeah, the, there's a separate universe. Not in not in real life. There, a siren Head is a creepy pasta, essentially. Yeah. That is just a tall, like kaiju sized fucking humanoid bigger figure than Big Bird. with sirens as a head. Yeah, he. Like, it would be the Midwestern kaiju if we ever had. One. Look up Trevor Not Henderson ten. on, I think, Tumblr or don't or Twitter. He's a really good artist. Gotcha. Siren Head, and then there's Bridgeworm. Like, um, like as far as kaiju being a cryptid, okay. If you look at King Kong, right? Look at King Kong. So at the beginning of the movie, there's legends of this giant ape on this island. They go to research it. They find out it's true. They bring it back to New York. When they bring it back to New York, no longer a cryptid. Yeah. Like, was a cryptid when they talked about the legends of him on that island, them sacrificing people to this giant ape. Once they find him and they confirm existence, they bring him back to New York, still a kaiju, no longer a cryptid. Yeah. But I think it was a mistake bringing him to such a populated area because he oh, yeah. could like, break out and then just start going ham on the population. I think that's the idea of the movie. Yeah. yeah. Uh, humans being stupid. That's the idea of every movie. Yeah. Never mind. Essentially. That's and, the idea of humanity in like general. About humans being stupid. Yes. <laughs> if I were to write a movie, the movie would be over in a second. It'd be a bad movie. It would be a it would be a bad and good movie because some people like to critique movies on their logic. About cryptids? No. <laughs> like, if I were to write a horror movie, the horror movie would be done in at least, like, two minutes. A horror movie about cryptids? Maybe. Yes. Maybe. I actually want that now. A horror movie about cryptids? Yeah. I'll find you a few. Yeah, there's there's quite a few of those. Well, I wouldn't even say quite a few. That's what I was talking about earlier, is that, like, it's they're harder oh. to find. Oh, if you want some bad movies... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Planet. Yeah, bad movies. Yeah, you're right. You're right. Legend of the Water Horse is a good Nessie the, movie. Yeah. It was on Netflix. Yeah. I tried to watch it a couple of times, but it was too long. <laughs> I don't know. I guess I, I guess my point is keep the magic alive. No, not yeah. like I did this whole Yeah, not like, not like this one did. Keep the magic alive. Believe what you want. If it's not hurting anybody, fucking believe it. I think one of the worst things to happen to cryptids is cryptozoologi- cryptozoologists. And me. I mean, like, the fact that you are constantly trying to prove the existence of the cryptid makes it not a cryptid anymore. It kind of ruins the fun a little bit. It'd be like, you know, somebody trying to prove the existence constantly of Santa Claus. Like, you know, just just let Santa Claus be Santa Claus. Just let the cryptids be cryptids. You don't have to go out there and find proof. You don't have to go out there and hunt Bigfoot. Just Yeah, let them vibe. Yeah. yeah. Let them vibe. Cryptozoologists are not a vibe. Let them vibe. They are not a vibe. But yeah. Well, thank you for joining us on this chaotic romp through <laughs> the world of cryptids and a lot of arguing and arguing and proto religion and aliens and horror movies. Oh my god! But uh, yeah, thank you for all that, and I can't wait for you to try to do this again. Yeah, thanks for tuning in. Hopefully, uh, we'll see you back next week. Uh, <laughs> New episodes out every Monday. We stream live on Twitch every Sunday. We're streaming D&D. You can find us on Twitter at Caster Guild. And we'll see you next time. Bye. 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 Stay out of dark alleys. Bye. Bye. Don't get robbed. Oh, what? Bye. Bye. Bye.